Hello, hello. All right. We're in EU4 playing as the Ottomans. Hey, Disarmable Daimyo, what's up? Uh, yeah, the reason we're doing this is because it's a Steam achievement, actually. And um, as Byzantium, forming the Roman Empire by 1500 is likely impossible. I guess if you uh, lipped a horde and did a bunch of other things, maybe. But um, overall, yeah, this is a Steam achievement with EU4, so... And so we're doing it. Alright, let's adjust some settings really quick. I'll turn this slightly down, maybe? I'm not sure. I think the volume should all be good, though. So yeah, the Ottomans have um, an achievement that we're going to go for for this run. We're going to see if we can get it. It's... um. Relatively doable, I think, um, but I only have like 1k hours in the game, so we'll see if I can get it. Let me find it. Yep, Mehmet's Ambition, so starting as the Ottomans, owner have core eyelets of all the provinces required to form the Roman Empire before 1500, so these are the things we need to get. We need to own everything in Italy, France, Iberia, the Balkans, Anatolia... Mashriq, which is like Syria in that area. We also need to own Fez, Tunis, the capital of the Mamelukes. We need to own London, York, Zeeland, and Vienna. Byzantium. <laughs> Again, um, maybe in a future video I'll play as Byzantium. They certainly have a very fun game, but... You probably can't form the Roman Empire by 1500 if you stick to the Byzantine mission tree and don't tag switch or don't switch your government type, probably. So, yeah. The Ottoman mission tree is really busted and has a lot of um, great ways to which we can complete this achievement. So, yeah. Alright, so that's the achievement we're going for. Mehmet's Ambition. Going to be very fun. All right, the Ottomans have uh, the best start in U4, probably, arguably, at least. So yeah, let me um, just set this here for now, so I can look at chat. And yeah, all right. So let's combine our navy here. I'm not really going to pay for our navy though at the beginning. No need to. We'll pay for it later. We also start with all our troops. Um, and we'll start with the rivals, first and foremost. We got rivaled by England, Mamluks, Hungary. All right, let's just do Mamluks, Hungary for the last rival. Let's just Lithuania. Why not? Doesn't really matter. Jesus Christ, Rome Simulator. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be... Quite fun. Um, a lot of people have already done this achievement, so we'll see what we can do. How many hours have I played? I played a, a thousand hours, a little over a thousand, so we'll see how well I do. Um, I've done one test run of this, so I kind of have a general understanding of the plan for us. There's a few ways to cheese it, but we're not going to cheese it. Um, we're just going to do it the way it was intended. There is a method to cheese this where, as the Ottomans, like, you can move your capital over here, I believe. In, um, near, like, Iraq or whatever. And then you just don't take any AE from the Europeans and you can conquer a bunch of territory and stuff. I'm aware of that, but not going to do it going to try to do the achievement the way it was intended not going to try to cheese things so yeah got our rivals selected and now what we need to do is the estates of course ottomans have five estates because they added the janissaries or janissari so the new soldiers of the ottomans yes the janissaries special unit type very powerful just like the carolians of sweden they have their own estate so, 
could have tried this as Timurids. Rock. <laughs> well, it's um the region, I think. I can't remember. It's uh, Mar... Muhasha. Yeah. Mu Mushasha. Mushasha. Yeah. <laughs> the Iraq region. Uh, Iraq area or Kuwait. I think it's, yeah, Kuwait. But around here. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, with the estates, we're of course going to grant the plus one mana privileges, as always. Let's see, we're going to get oversight with uh, the, this is the Uma, or the clergy. So, we'll get oversight. Going to get religious diplomats for now, because of the diplomatic reputation with all of the Sunni faith. Very nice. And then um, we're going to establish religious schools, so that way when we invite a scholar, or an Islamic scholar, that is Basra, Mesopotamia, that ain't Kuwait, what do you mean? Over here, this area of the world, modern day? <laughs> yeah, Basra region, yeah, that, that, that's true. But it's Kuwait modern, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So we'll establish religious schools, and then we're going to grant local residence to an Islamic scholar. And we have quite a lot of options, but the one we're going to select is the Aggressive Expansion Impact with the Hanabali School. So let's just go ahead and select them. Lovely. And back to the estates. We don't need to get clerical education, and I think that's everything we need for the clergy. Yeah, we'll get the clerical advisory council, actually, is the last one. Again, don't have to worry about a state influence or anything like that. We're only playing until 1500, so absolutism, stuff like that. <laughs> Alright, so that's the clergy. Let's go with the uh, Umara again. Not Turkish, so apologies for the pronunciations. Okay, so we don't need increased levies. What we're going to get is supremacy over the sublime port, which was an eponym, or no, uh, what's the word? Not eponym. Yeah, I think it's eponym um, for the Ottomans or the Ottoman government, although we don't have the sublime port yet. We need to take Constantinople for that. Let's see a few other things we're going to do. We will get aristocratic counselors as we're going to get an advisor, but we won't get the advisor just yet. We get an event for that advisor. And then we could do grant court positions, which gives us prestige decay. It's not really too important in the grand scale of things, but may as well. And then there are a few new privileges with like granting generalship and stuff, but we're going to have lots of army tradition, I think, so we'll keep the nobility with these privileges. Yeah, that would have been really cool. I, I really I really think that personal gains for everyone would have been cool. Um or some other mechanic like that. Exactly. Um I really like playing outside of Europe in this game though, still, but yeah, it's <laughs> it's definitely um a bit unfortunate considering, you know, there's just so much of the um, other regions around the world where, again, there was a lot of indirect rulership over places. I mean, the Timurids, for example, had lots of vassals, which the game represents as a vassal, but um, I mean, especially even, you know, just like uh, with the Mongol Empire and things like that, too. Um, I mean, you could even, I mean, yeah, there's, there's a lot of systems that I, I wish they would rework, like, especially with um, the Sengoku Jidai as well. I wish that was reworked a little bit more. Because the way it's currently set up, it's, you know, like, an early game thing, but it's not really as much of a challenge. I wish it was more of, like, kind of an HRE system where expanding a little bit too much in Japan really hurt you. So that way, again, each daimyo had a bit more unique flavor to it, rather than, you know, the only thing different about the daimyo is their idea set. But they all have like the same mission tree and stuff. So, all right, merchant guilds. Oof, let's see. We're gonna go with patronage of the arts, of course. We're going to get free enterprise. We're going to get a commercial advisory board as well. Again, we're going to get advisors right away because we can afford them. We'll get the one percent loans. 
I think that's all we're going to do now with that estate. Now we have the Dimi. So the Dimi are the non Sunni religions or yeah, religious followers within the Ottoman Sultanate. So let's go ahead and give them some privileges. We want to do grant Dimi liberties. And then let's see, Dimi education. Yes, we're going to do Dimi education for the reform progress growth instead of the clerical education. We're going to do the Dimi education. We'll also get promoted nobility from the Dimi as well because we get a leader without upkeep, which is going to be useful as we're going to need lots of military leaders for all of the armies we're going to have for this run. And we're also going to get protected Dimi communities. They're going to have lots of influence, but again, only play until 1500. Well, do we even need religious unity? I, I guess it'll be it'll be helpful. It'll be helpful, especially once we've conquered a lot of territory. And that's all those privileges. So let's go ahead and seize land. And then for the Janissaries, we have a lot of specific privileges with them. And the problem with the Janissaries is that we don't want them to have really high influence. The higher influence they have, the worse it's going to be for us. They're going to demand payment like they did historically. There could also be some Janissary revolts. So if we get really bad RNG with those events, we may have to restart the run. <laughs> Hopefully we don't, though. So yeah, the Janissaries have really strong privileges, like the appointed Agas. So these were commanders of the Janissaries. Um, Land Leader Shark, Army Tradition, very nice. We also have Recruitment by Merit, which eventually gives infantry combat ability, but it scales with how much crown lands the Janissaries have. So it's probably going to be something we'll grant out later, or perhaps not during this run. Professional Soldiers is also nice, but they lose their loyalty, and again, we want to keep their loyalty high, but their influence in check as well. Although it does give them some good bonuses that would be useful, but we're probably not going to do that one. Janissary Celibacy, we don't want them to get married. Um, actually, decent bonuses from this one, and it's not too much influence, but possibly we'll consider giving that privilege later. Ensure Disciplined Training is really good. They get 5% Discipline, so we're going to grant that privilege. We're also going to do Loyalty to the Sultanate. Gives a lot of Loyalty Equilibrium, and we're going to need that. We're not going to enforce the strict Devonshire system just yet, although we could potentially in the future. Well, I'm trying to remember what this... Let's see. Modifier goes away. Yeah, the we might do that later. Janissary demand pay costs significantly less with this one, but eh, it's a lot of influence, and we don't want to do that. We're going to do the self appointed or the sultan appointed agas, though. The yearly armor tradition is really nice, and the land leader shock bonus is going to be really good, as shock is very valuable in the beginning of the game. So let's grant this privilege too, and we'll do three privileges for the janissaries now. Hopefully. We can give like this one later for the corruption decrease since we're going to be taking lots of territory during this run. So that's all for the Janissaries. Let's go ahead and summon the diet, see what we get. Kandar. We'll get claims on them really easily anyways. Let's see. Trade power. Lesbo. And the Aegean. This is for claims against Genoa. Hmm, don't think we'll be fighting Genoa that quickly. Um, let's see. Kandar is a subject of the Ottomans. Subjugation CB on them. We don't really want the subjugation CB. We might have to go with one of these base tax missions, I think. Hmm. Let's just do the proposal for the Demi. We actually have a mission that we need to complete with, um... The way we complete it is through the uh, finishing agendas for the Demi, so we'll do that. <laughs> exactly. All right, so the Ottoman mission tree, very powerful. We have, um, you know, the new mission tree with the Domination DLC. Lots of options here. Of course, there is the True Roman Empire thing, which will be trying to become the heirs of Rome. And then we have Pax 
Automana, like Pax Romana and Pax Britannica, historically. And um, the beginning, what we need to do is train the Janissaries, refill the Ortas, and we also need to establish a Crescent Fleet. So those will be the things that we're focusing on. For now, we're going to get some advisors. And we're only going to get the Admin and Diplo advisors because we're going to get a Mill advisor with an event. So let's do Yearly Inflation Reduction. And then for the Diplo one, let's do Improve Relations. It's going to be useful. We'll keep our focus in mill power for now, as we want to be ahead in military tech. It's going to be very useful. Alright, those things are set up. New thing with the Ottomans is the decadence mechanic. Again, we start off with some decadence. If it goes really high, then it's very bad. So hopefully by the end of the run, we don't have too much decadence. That would be very bad. Regardless, though, I don't think it'll be an issue. And we have some decisions that we're going to complete here. We're going to adopt the title of Khalifa. Why not? We're going to denounce the uh, sect practices. And let us enforce religious unity. Although it really doesn't matter. Let's see. So we're going to try to go towards legalism eventually for the manpower modifier. And we can also use that to debase currency with the uh, reduced corruption interaction we have here so that'll be nice 20 minutes and you don't see vienna <laughs> gotta explain everything okay let's delete some forts that we don't need we don't need this fort don't need that fort we'll keep actually we don't even need to sell any we don't really need a lot of forts this run again we're playing very unique way all right so to complete these first couple missions what we're going to do is we need to get some janissaries again they cost military power and we need a total of 10 to complete train the Janissaries. So let's go ahead and get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And there we go. We got our first mission completed. Train the Janissaries. And we can also refill the Ortas since we reached 90% of our land force limits. Lovely. So we already get claims on all of Anatolia. As well as, um, looks like into this region here. The Mashriki region. Lovely. And then we can complete the Janissary Privileges mission, so the Janissaries, and we get some military power. We also get Special Unit Force Limit and Loyalty Equilibrium with the Janissaries, which is lovely. Also, I think Train the Janissaries gave us some, yeah, 10% morale of armies for 25 years. Going to be useful. We have to wait for these to get uh, built up to Force Limit, but that's not a problem. We'll just keep them chilling here for now. Let's see. We don't want to do this decision just yet. All right, now we're going to give uh, this commander... Actually, let's assign him to this army here. And what we're going to do is we're going to grant Mehmet rulership. All right, so Mehmet's got two siege, very nice. Four fire, two shock. Yeah, really good. Again, we don't want Mehmet to die in battle, obviously. We'll switch Mehmet out for somebody. If he dies in the siege, then Rip will just have to restart everything, which will be a bit annoying, but um, I don't know. I like our chances, and of course, Mehmet has to take Constantinople like he did historically. Also, for the Crescent Fleet mission, we need at least 10 galleys. So we need to complete this because we get a really good admiral, or at least we have the potential to get a really good admiral. So we have 7 galleys currently, so with our income, we're going to build 3 galleys right here. 1, 2, 3. Lovely. Let's move this army down towards uh, Tier Hala so we can invade Athens and... Everything should be good. Now we can go to Diplomacy. So let's see who will ally us. <laughs> get ally with the Pope. That's funny. <laughs> so some good allies to get would be Ajam. Ajam's a pretty good ally. We also want to ally Crimea. And we'll probably ally Bohemia. We are currently guaranteeing Ragusa. We're going to revoke that guarantee as we're going to need to take Ragusa for the achievement. So let's go ahead and get an alliance with Ajam. And then we'll skip a day. There we go. Let's get our next alliance with Crimea. And our last alliance we can get with Bohemia. Alright. And then we just need to wait for a diplomat to revoke that guarantee of Ragusa again. If Venice takes Ragusa or if somebody else takes it, not our problem. Ah, there we go. Victory over the Varna Crusade. So, of course, we won the Battle of Varna in 1444 and we get 
25 power projection and 100 splendor with this event. And we also got the siege engineer Orban. So Orban was the Hungarian siege engineer who built some bombards for the Ottomans to take Constantinople. So of course we're going to hire Urban again. That's why we took the 1% loans really quickly at the start. Obviously don't choose this option. And there we go, we got our military advisor, level two, half price, which is very nice, and another 10% morale of armies. So very busted event for the Ottomans, but makes sense historically. So now we can complete this mission, the Guns of Urban. And we get four cannons in our capital of Edirne, or Adrianople, if you're going by the Greek or Byzantine way of saying it. So there we go, now we have four cannons. What we're going to do is we're going to split two of the cannons, actually, to this army down here to help with the siege bonuses. That'll be useful. And we can also complete the next mission, which is the Aftermath of Varna. This gives us claims on all of uh, the uh, Greece region, or the remaining part of the Greece region, aside from Necropont and Corfu, I think. Or no, I think it gives... Yeah, it actually gives us claims on those things, too, from Venice. So let's complete this mission. Get five prestige, and already at the start, look at all those Ottoman claims. Okay, yeah, so it wasn't on Necropont. I was right. So it's just the Byzantine and Epirus lands. Very lovely. All right, so with those claims on December 11th, we'll declare those wars. So let's just get our armies situated here. We'll move into Geli Bolu. Honestly, I don't even think we need this fort either. So let's just delete it. All right, let's go ahead. We need to wait for that diplomat. So let's revo revoke our guarantee of Ragusa. Let's see, influence actions, right? Vote guarantee. Okay, now we have another Diplo slot available. So let's see, who did Tunis rival? We could consider allying with Tunis, but we do need to take that territory eventually. So instead, we'll probably ally with somebody else. Although I'm not too certain because we need to fight a lot of people or we could just vassalize them which is also a possibility um don't want to get an alliance with france we obviously have to fight france so I mean, we don't really need to ally we could ally i think the timurids are rivaled to actually not rival to ajam really they're probably going to rival them once um the month goes i think though surely Okay. I'm going to have to wait seven days anyways. Who can we offer vassalization to? Actually curious. To Ramazan and Theodoro. <laughs> Theodoro. Okay. Let's just get another alliance then to make things simple for us. We could ally Granada. We could. But we'll have to take that territory eventually as well. Teutonic Order would be a funny alliance. Um, let's just keep the alliance slot open for now. We'll probably have a need for it eventually at some point. Okay, we have free diplomats, so... When do we get those We need to figure out when we get these claims. Okay, so we get claims on the entirety of the Anatolian region with conquering all of the Baelix, which we'll do. Obviously, we need to capture the City of World's Desire. That'll be important. I think what we'll do then is we need to build some spy networks. We'll build a spy network on Erdemann, the Baelic here. And we're going to save these two diplomats. And the reason we're doing this is because we just need these diplomats available as soon as possible. So no need to do anything with these two diplomats. All right, we just need these cannons to move. So let's unpause. All right. Let's just double check things. They got no allies. What about Epirus? No allies, right? Pretty fortunate. Okay, perfect. December the 11th, let's take the city of World's Desire, Constantinople. We'll declare war. Of course, use that as the war goal. They have Athens. Doesn't really matter. No allies. Let's take the city. Again, we don't really need to pay for the fleet maintenance just yet. I'm waiting for these galleys to be built so we can get a good admiral. Then we can possibly steal a few Byzantine ships, but we could win the war before then. Depends on... Um, the siege time. Let's move into Athens here again. We're waiting for the Janissaries to recover. Alright, so next we need to declare war on Epirus on January the 11th. 
And with our other diplomat, let us go ahead and build the spy network in Dol Kadir, who they allied Ramazan, which is really good. And Kandar's allied with Crimea. That's really unfortunate, actually. Maybe we'll just have to... Hmm. That's really unfortunate. Hmm. I guess we could curry favors with them eventually, but I really don't want to wait too long. So we might just fight our ally Crimea and just piece them out or something, and then we can get the alliance again. Who knows? Um, for now, we'll just not get the royal marriage with them, just in case. Let's get the royal marriage with Ajam, though. That's going to be very useful to have Ajam as an ally. All right. Combine the army here. Obviously crush the Byzantine defenders. Let's not get that royal marriage just yet. Now we wait for the sieges. They allied Albania. Albania? Well. That works out. Maybe we can just co-belligerate Albania. <laughs> and Venice will join. <laughs> hmm. Okay. That's interesting. I actually... Yeah, we should take Albania. May as well. Although, I, I really would just like to use this reconquest war goal on them. So, maybe we should just declare on Albania and co-belligerate Epirus instead. Because I don't think Epirus is going to get another ally, so that kind of works out. We'll just have to fight the Venetians a little sooner, but... Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. We'll just see how it goes. Any other really strange things happening in the world? Don't think so. So I guess we'll take Epirus later. Doesn't really change too much, but... Fighting the Venetians a little early means I'm probably going to get some more galleys. Let's see. Cheapest place to build them, or quickest place to build them. Jirhala. Yeah, more galleys the better. Okay, well, since we're not declaring on Epirus really quickly, now we have the diplomat available, so let us just build the spy network on... Dolkadir, since we'll probably declare war on them really quickly. Let's move the Janissaries this way. Alright, now we just need a good RNG for these sieges. Protest. Yeah, we're moving towards legalism. Luxy lost the prestige, but we'll get it back. Yeah, I don't really know how much aggressive expansion that would be if I don't co them. But I want that Reconquest to be. Let's just build a spy network here too, why not? Nandana. Waiting on sieges. <laughs> 21% there, 14 in Athens. Let's see, so... Seven percent, nice. Alright, Siege is going really well. We just need to take uh, Moria after. Okay, we don't really need Moldova, so it doesn't matter. Alright, Constantinople, 233 days. Very nice. Let's move this army across the Bosphorus as we need to prepare for fighting the Beylix now. We can stop building a spy network there to free up Diplant. Athens, 257. Really nice. That's why having the cannons early and splitting them up is really good. 
Let's bring the Janissaries over into Corinth. Um, we could get another leader, but I'm going to save the military power for now so we can get to military attack 4 really quickly. Okay. We got here Dolkadir, Nadana, and we also have Karaman. Okay. We co belligerate Ramazan, and let's just do the war goal on uh, their capital. The sooner we fight these wars, the better. Where are they retreating to? Are they gonna like go okay they're going that way. Oh they got the mud thick barely. Oh my god. They're going to Adana, I think. I actually completed a mission. Yep, Crescent Fleet. There we go. We got the galleys that we needed. Alright, lovely. Okay, we just have to wait on this siege here. Oh, they're retreating to both the separate areas. All right, let's... Oh, they got the month tick again. Okay, well, we stack wipe them there. Let's move this way. Oh, my God. There we go, stack wipe. All right, let's split up our forces here. And we'll just siege down everything really quickly. Since they won't be able to recruit troops if we're sieging. 21% here. Internal power struggle event, yep. Alright, we're still making positive income though, actually, with everything going on. Oh god, actually... Only split off another infantry to help with that fight. Alright, there we go. Back wipes, okay. Now we're sieging everything here. Take the... Actually, we'll just... I guess we'll have to wait. Alright, that siege is... Um, I guess we'll just get 5 prestige only. Okay, there we go. We got the main army here. Yep, occupied there. Alright, nice. And we need to go after Kandar next. I really... I could have them break an alliance if um, I get enough favors with them, but that might take too long. So I don't know. Thirty-five percent. Okay. Um, we have a free diplomat. Let's see. Did I press ally anybody else? No. Yeah. Hmm. I really don't mind fighting Venice early, except I really want to build up the navy a bit more, so... Who are you allied to? Great Horde. Okay, that's going to be annoying. Alright. Why don't we just... Let's see. Okay, good. They rivaled each other. Um, Let's just... I don't know. Great. Or we should keep the diplomat open, actually, so we can peace out this war. We just need to take this fort here, and I think we can peace out with the Byzantines. All right, took it. Um, may as well crush our army for the army tradition, right? Plague. Hey, yeah. All right, there we go. Lost, like, no troops, so move the Janissaries out. All right, there we go. And we have the Diplomat free, so let's go ahead and end this war. Of course, we're going to take everything from them and all of their money. Lovely. All right, let's delete the fort here. We can keep the fort in Constantinople for now. We're going to core everything but uh, Constantinople as well, because we will be able to core it immediately with um, events here to make it the capital. We just need to be at peace, so we need to end this war with these two Baelics over here. 
And now that we're at peace, let's get the navy. All together in the Gulf of Varna, why not? Move this army back this way too. Venice announces his arrival, good. Alright, we got an admiral here. Not bad for an admiral. Oh, I think Ramazan tried to fight our navy actually. Funny. Okay. Yeah, let's send the Janissaries like here or something, I guess, to fight uh, Kandar. Just need to wait for these sieges here. So far, so good on time. Okay. Why are the Mamluks fighting? Hmm, that's not good. Why are they fighting there? What? They're out. Uh, Vassal of the Mamluks? What's the war over? Oh, they're... F okay. Hmm. Lucky, I guess. Let's just build Spy Network in Epirus. Alright, we took Adana. Oh, let's also slack in recruitment. We want to remember to do that. We have Army Professionalism. That'll help us recover our manpower faster. Alright, 42% here. Let's just recall that diplomat here. 49, dang, okay. Um, I'm going to declare another war since we need to be at peace. Come on. That's a bad event. Alright, 100 years war happened and we got... Okay. This means war against Venice. Yep, we took that. All right, let's peace out then here. Just take all of this. All their ducats as well. Perfect. All right. And now we can make Constantinople our capital. We get a stability. We also get a lot of bonuses in Constantinople in terms of development. And it changes our rank to an empire. Now we can complete the mission, the City of World's Desire. Gives us some more bonuses. And we get defeated the Byzantine Empire for 15 years, giving us some legitimacy and tolerance of the true faith. Lovely. And now let's also core up everything else here. In terms of ideas, we might either decide to go admin or diplo first, but we will be doing those two ideas, though. And we can select another rival, since Lithuania became a personal union under Poland, so a few options here. We'll go with, I don't know if I really want to rival Venice, but probably, yeah, we'll rival Venice, as we do want to take some of their territory. Alright, those wars are done, so now we're on to the next phase, which is likely fight Epirus, which, oh, they don't have an ally anymore. Wow. Okay, very nice. So let's um, just declare that war next once we get a diplomat in eight days. Mercenary company is available, yep. All right. Cool, pretty good RNG there. We'll declare for Arta as well. Um, we'll still not pay for the fleet just yet. Not just yet. All right, while they're fighting over there, let's get Mehmet's army together here. Move the Janissaries here, and we need to fight Kandar, which Crimea will join. But they don't really have a lot of troops, and it's all right if we break the alliance, I guess. Um, yeah, will we get the military tech soon? We will. Okay, that should work out. Let's let's go ahead and declare this war simultaneously then. We just need to... Actually, we can't. We have to wait. Yeah, forgot. We have to wait until the next month. Let's also fix the corruption issues. Okay. Build that army of theirs. Alright, let's actually pay for a fleet I like. We're paying for our fleet. <laughs> All 
Neapolitan succession. Did they give up Naples? Yep, they did. All right, good. Right, they discovered the spy network there. That's right. Let's build a spy network in Crimea since we're going to have to go up there and deal with them. I guess we can get military access from somebody potentially. This is really bad though. I don't want the Mamluks to take any of this territory, but oh well. They have to deal with that. All right, can we declare this war now? Yes, we can. Actually, I should have the Janissaries assault here because the Janissaries have a assault fort ability. Bonus. Okay. Kind of convoluted path there. Lovely. And we don't want Mehmet to really be involved in the siege, so let's give these cannons over here. There we go. Um, There is no leader, though. That's unfortunate. We can get military tech for now, though. Nice. Okay, now we can get a leader whenever the time comes. Ooh, we get 20 army tradition? Of course we're going to take that. That puts us at, what, 51 already? Nice. Really good event there. Okay, now let's take our fleet over here and beat up their fleet. Okay, we'll just chill in the Gulf of Toronto until, um... We take Arta and they'll be forced out and we can hopefully capture some ships. Alright, let's see. Yeah, we'll just need to go up there and siege a place, I guess. Okay, His and Kaifa, I guess, took stuff, but it looks like Akunyulu didn't... Did they lose the provinces we need them to keep? Yeah, they did. <laughs> That's really unfortunate. That's fine, we can declare on His and Kaifa, I guess, and then White Peace Mamluks. But we need to fight both. Akunyulu and a few other people now. Kinda bad RNG. Might see if that affects anything. Oh yeah, Crimea and Kandar have a lot of ships actually. Didn't even notice that. Alright, let's take Mehmet up this way. We need to get military access from Moldova. Access option. Ask for military access. They would give it. Okay. Yeah, we'll I mean we only have we have two free diplo slots, so let's just get the military access really quickly. Surprised they'll give it to me. But might as well take it. Okay, 14% on Arta. Let's see. Our truce with them ends in 1449, so we have to end these wars really quickly. And we'll probably then be able to, let's see, we need two more provinces in Anatolia, which is really good. So we can then start attacking over here. So very soon we're going to get a lot of mercenaries and other things to do. Let's see. Why don't we just curry favors with Ajam? Although they're at war with Harakunyulu. I don't want them to take too much territory over here though. That'd be very bad. We do need to take uh, this region here. Looks like Ajam's actually going to lose. I mean, they have 18k. I don't know where they're at. Oh, there's 10k? Alright. Arta has been taken. So now we have this naval engagement here. Alright. Didn't capture a ship. Really unlucky. No captured ships. Wow. Where are they retreating to? Ionian Sea? Oh, right here, okay. Alright, took there. Let's see. Still no captured ships. Really unlucky. Okay, let's uh, call that diplomat then. Sailors, nice. Okay, let's sue for peace here. Take these two provinces. All their ducats. Alright, there we go. And we can complete the next mission, Reign in Greece. This gives us 20 years of separatism, and we get permanent claims in the Balkans region and five prestige. Lovely. Maybe that Ottoman's so broken with all these missions you can complete so quickly. Okay, let's let's engage here. I think, yeah, hopefully we can capture a few more ships. We'll make these both cores as well. Oh my god, don't have enough troops there. Let's get over there to help with that siege. Let's just take Crimea and we can piece out the uh, Crimea.
All right, caught their navy here. Oh, they don't have a leader. Okay, so we should win that. We lost the general. We lost this general. All right, that's all right. We can get two more leaders now. No siege pips. Really unfortunate. Lots of fire pips, though. All right. Got cores. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's just transfer half the infantry into there. For no expenses, of course. Inflation's just a number. All right, now we have a free diplomat again. So let's see, we need to... Let's build a spy network in Trebizond. We need Trebizond. And it's a mountain fort, so... Oh, let me check really quickly. Yeah, mountain fort, so harder to siege. Seven percent. Janissaries make demands. Oh god. Oh god. She'll have their demands. That really messes with all of our state loyalty, or this one messes with their loyalty and gives them influence, so we'll have their demands. Okay, states are luckily okay, actually. So Avoided a bad event there. Score this. And we can also start assigning Pasha's places. We need to complete this mission, I guess, establish the Pasha's where we get base manpower. I mean, I guess we don't really need to complete it. I don't remember what a Pasha gives. Again, state maintenance, monthly autonomy change. Yeah, it's actually the governing cost. We want the governing cost. Let's assign Pasha's to a lot of places. Again, we want to assign them to the non-Sunni provinces. Alright, I think that's all the Pashas we can do for now. Actually making quite a bit of income. Let's fight this navy here. So close to the siege, and we need to take that as well. Akunyulu wants military access. No, we're going to fight you. Yeah. All right, we took Sinop, lovely. Let's also assign the Janissaries their leader. And let's go ahead and fix the army composition real quick here. We'll keep the Janissaries with the cannons as they'll be useful to have. Okay, now we found their navy there. Didn't capture another ship, really unfortunate. Let's go ahead and pay for a naval doctrine. We're going to go with the uh, free oarsmen for the galley combat ability. We do have like this great Turkish Navy thing, which ship cost and I mean, naval force limit is nice, but fighting the Venetians, we're going to need free oarsmen. Same with the Aragonese, really. So we're going to select this option. And we have the income for it, so it's fine. Okay, let's see. Does Crimea want peace? Probably not, though. Yeah, we just need to take this fort here. Let's see if we can barrage it with our ships. Do a naval barrage. Do we have enough? No, we just <laughs> we need a few more ships. That's unfortunate. Okay. Well, we can fight this navy down here. Although we don't we don't have a breach yet, but we captured a ship finally and it was a galley. Nice. No captured ships. Okay. Give me your ships. Captured ship. Nice. Alright, now do we have enough cannons? Probably not still. Maybe we do. Fair enough. Not enough. Okay. So let's see, what's the next war we need to do? Well, we need to wait for this mission to be completed, which we'll complete with this war. So, let's see. Will they peace out just with us right now? Very close, actually. Very close. So let's... Let's recall occurring favors with Ajam. Let's see if they would now. Ah, oh, dang. So close. Oh, well, the fort's actually pretty close to being completed, too. 1449, so once our truce is up with Karaman, we need... Oh, my God. 
Really? Really? They're allied with Crimea too. Okay, we'll just peace out Crimea and make them break that alliance. Sack. Alright, cool. We got uh, some army professionalism. Let's go ahead and ease that. Okay, sue for peace. Alright, you're going to break your alliance with Karaman. And what else do we want? War reps. Money. Lovely. That'll pay for some things. Alright, let's get you back here. Now we have six days. Alright. We'll take these two provinces and all their ducats as well. And no coalition yet. Let's go ahead and delete the fort here. For the place up that we can. And with this mission we can core the other one because we get admin power, 100. And we also get claims on all of Anatolia. Which is nice. So let's also go ahead and core there. So far so good. Ottomans doing Ottoman things. At this point, our truce with Karaman ends in September. But let's see, we could declare war on Akunyulu once we get those claims at the start of the next month, but they're allied to Karakunyulu and the Great Horde. And Hissan Kaifa is allied to the Mamluks. Ugh, okay. Let's get our army back at least before we do that. Let's also get our fleet back over here. We could go after Albania then. Albania allied with Naples. But Bohemia would help us in that war against... Okay, we'll focus on that after we take most of the places here in the Eastern Roman Empire that we're going to create. Alright, let's just wait for December so we can attack Karaman. Alright, we got our army back, so let's... No. Let's go ahead and cancel the mill axis we have with these two. Legalism, nice. Okay. Let's also stop building spy network there to free up that other diplomat. And our claims went through, so now we have claims in all these territories. So, what we need to do is take these provinces and then establish, like, truces. The only problem is I don't want to really go after Karakunyulu while they're at war with all these people. Because then Ajam will take territory that we need from... Karakunyulu. That's not good. Um, we could fight Trebizond, though, now, really quickly, just to get this war out of the way. Georgia and Theodoro pose no problems. Could also fight Hiss and Kaifa with the Mamluks, but... Yeah, it... We'd have to... We'd have to white piece the Mamluks, so we'll have to fight the Mamluks in, like, a series of several wars, which would be really annoying, but... Let's go ahead and get our first mercenary company now. Let's get the free company. Because we're probably going to be fighting one of those tough wars. Let's get you all the way over here. Not tough wars, but wars that require some more manpower, some more muscle. And we have some more leaders available. Hey. Okay. Fate of the Crimea Connates. Yeah. If this was, like, not the achievement run, this would be a... You know, we would go for the claims, but let's just get the opinion change. Okay, so... Not that great of a general. We can hire another one, though. Lots of maneuver and a siege pip. Let's go with that general. Okay, where's the Janissaries here? They're there. Okay. Let's declare war on Trebizond. And those two won't be an issue. Let's just send the Janissaries here. Keep the free company there. And our truce ends with Karamon in September. Yeah. Military tech advantage. Alright, there we go. Let's declare on Karaman. We'll go for Karaman itself. Let's just build a spy network in the Mamluks. And then let us go ahead and build our other spy network in Hissan Kaifa for now. All right, now let's split up the troops here so that way they can't recruit anybody else. Full carpet siege. Okay, and 
Now we can get Diplotech 4, why not? We'll just extend these loans. And we're not really losing that much money anyways. Truce expired with every bit. Okay, now we have no truces with all of them. All the ones we'd be defeated in Varna is where we have to start considering coalitions and managing AE. Renaissance. Okay. We'll stop paying for our navy for now as we're not using them. So they're guaranteed. Yeah. Guaranteed. We have the tech advantage on Mamelukes. Making a lot of military power, so we're going to... We turn off this foot. We might switch to admin at some point. Don't know when. Hopefully soon. Really unfortunate with this siege so far. Hopefully we'll take these two places. We can peace out Karaman. And power. Oh, we're actually taking attrition here. Alright, get that siege. Nice. They're still fighting this war with Ajam. Right. I took Karaman. So let's go ahead and recall this diplomat from, I guess, Hiss and Kaifa. Oh. Let's take all of this territory for ourselves as well. Coalition, Akunyulu, and Mameluk. So this is where we're probably going to fight Akunyulu so they don't join that coalition against us. Let's delete this fort here. Let's go ahead and core all of these up. We'll probably switch to admin power now. Again, we make enough mill power per month with Orban. Let's combine these armies here. And now let us go ahead and declare war on Akungulu so they don't join the coalition with the Mamelukes. And we'll be fighting the Great Horde in Ardakungulu. Really don't want to have to go out of my way to peace out the Great Horde, so kind of unlucky RNG here. We'll see though. But yeah, I think Arakungulu will be occupied. Great Horde, we can hopefully siege down that territory. I'll say I would like to get this alliance back with them. No, oh, because we're at war. That's right. Okay. That's fine. We can win without them. Let's declare this war. Go for that war goal, why not? Alright. Let's get this army over here in this area. Hey. Okay. What we'll do is hopefully Karda Kunyulu will be busy with Ajam, that we can just siege down their places and white piece them, as we do need to fight them relatively quickly after the fact. Separatist, um, let's get the free company to fight them, because they have their own manpower pool. Alright, Mamluks are in a war, so does this mean they won't join Hiss and Kaifa? No, they would, okay. Raw marriage from Medina, no. Okay, let's send the free company this way. Go keep an eye on the army in Trebizond. Yeah, fighting the Great Horde is going to be really annoying. Definitely way out of the way, but, I'm, you know, something we have to deal with. 
Let's also stop paying for our navy as we're not using them once again. 85% there. A lot of people we have to fight, but I think most of them are like vassals. Yeah, they're vassals over there. All right, took Trebizond 569 days. God, that was painful. Okay, so now we need to fight Georgia and Theodoro. All right. Pain. Okay, let's let's go advance into. I guess Car can you lose territory? Yeah, because we need to get over to here. So we'll be in these wars for a little bit. Again, we still have 49 years. So go off to a good start. The only problem is that I'm really worried if Cyprus becomes um, the Mameluke's vassal that we can't um, reset the truce with the Mamluks that we need to later on during this run. So we do need to fight Hiss and Kaif and Bitlis and all this territory, which am I already at war with Bitlis? I am. Uh, okay, we might just have to take Bitlis' territory during this war as well with um or we can just wipe I just white piece and we'll take it later. It's a little unfortunate. Alright, sieging here. Let's send the cannon. Actually No, 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 don't move from there. Okay. Let's send you this way. So we'll have the army that's intended for sieging there with the cannons. Can we get military access from you already? Yep. Alright, that's good. What about you, Circassia? No. How the hell are we going to get to the Great Horde? Like, actually. Really unfortunate with the RNG of the Great Horde being involved, but happens. Exhaustion of war, decadence, oh no. Okay, that's bad. Let's just, I mean, fine. War exhaustion still looks good. Hmm, prestige, nice. Gain to claim on Hungary, okay. And you get this fort here, and then we'll march up, hopefully, in, in this war with Trebizond. I don't know, they might unconditionally surrender it, too. Alright, got that siege. Didn't I just have military access with you? We have, oh, it's because of the fort here, I think. Yeah. Zone of control. Yep, that's standard. 21%. Alright, there's Kara Kungulu's troops. So, where's the free company? Come this way. Let's get you to come this way as well. Let's do that instead. Okay, we do need to lower autonomy relatively soon. And probably like sell crown lands and stuff. Let's get these troops over here. Okay, we can send everybody, sure. You still have the military tech advantage? No, not against them. Alright, took that place. Let's start sieging down Georgia's territory then. Gonna catch them here. 
Alright, stack wipe. Keep going. I mean, that was Jean's. Did Jean peace out with them, though? Okay, good, they did. Alright, so now Jean's not going to take any territory that we might need. Morse influence, sure. Or influx. Alright, I guess Bitless's army is going to die alone. There you go. Okay, let's try to get a stack wipe over here, though. Again, it doesn't matter if they siege in, like, small places. Alright, there's the Great Horde troops. I guess they came over. Alright, they really trapped themselves with that one. Oh, but do I have military access with them? Okay, I can ask for military access. Really annoying wars. Really, really annoying. Um, it's really, really unlucky that the Great Horde's in this fight, actually. Because peace in the mouth's gonna be a pain. They have, like, three forts. So... We might have to restart the run, or we might lose a lot of time just based off that. We'll see. So let's get military access. Thank you. Okay, let's unsiege this. Hey, okay. on in. All right, there we go. Let's attack. Not a stack wipe. Damn. Let's repay a few estate loans. They're still positive ducats, which is nice. I think we're going to combine the cannons for some barrages to help speed things up. Alright, we can get military tech 5 though, which enables the Azobs, but we need to switch to them after these wars. Took that. Let's see. Can you peace out, Georgia? They will. Thank God. Alright. War reps. Ducats. Okay. Now it's just Trebe Trebizond alone with um, Theodoro. Let's see. Do for peace. Can we take it? Not yet. So close. So close. Alright. Um, I guess go up to Theodoro there. You come into Yerevan. And then Siege Bitless, I guess. I don't know where the Great Horde's troops are, but we out tech them by two, so they're probably not going to fight us. Let's go up here then and start sieging their stuff and piece them out of this war with uh, us. Actually, stay right here for now. We got unconditional surrender. Thank God Trebizond did that. Do for peace. Take all their ducats. All right, nice. We can delete this fort too. All right, now we can send these armies into the Great Horde. We'll go to Astrakhan and uh, Sarai. Make that a core. Let's just reduce war exhaustion slightly. All right, they're gathering up here. Alright, let's send let's send the cannons in this time. Help with the siege. How's the estates looking? Everything's still good. Alright. Yeah, they're gonna unsiege all that, that's fine. Actually we can just send you down there maybe to fight. Or ward them off. Okay. Actually, yeah, free. Really, I uh, need another mercenary company. So let's go ahead and get some loans here. And we're still fine on ducats, so we can afford it. 
Let's go with, uh, hmm. Let's go with the, um, Seek Bond because they have a two siege general. Again, we'll be able to afford these mercenaries, so it's fine. We'll just sell crown land and stuff. Maybe we can peace out with the Great Horde. I really doubt it. Yeah. So this war is taking a little long. It's really unfortunate. Some bad things happened over here. This in Kaifa. Okay. Wish Crimea would be my ally again, but we've been in war for so long, so that's why. Ooh, okay. Well, that makes up for it. Strict trait, Mehmet. Chad Lord, alright. We probably should not make him a general anymore, so let's let's um uh, let's have this army here so we can replace him because now I really don't want him to die in a siege. That would be really, really bad. So let's replace him with a different general. Four shock. Yeah, we'll go with the four shock. Okay. Let's just start going this way. Again, if they circle back to fight that army, it's fine. It's just mercenaries, so. Alright, can we please peace out with the Great Horde? Yes, we can. It's probably going to be a white piece, or 26 ducats. I'll take it. Alright. I guess we're going to fight those rebels for them, too. Okay. We got exiled. Nice. Alright, now we just need to peace out Kardak and Yulu. Which, I think we're going to have to take Bitless, or oh, we could white piece them, I guess. Yeah, we'll probably white piece them and fight them. Four uniforms, okay, well that sucks. Let's get down here because we need to fight uh, His and Kaifa really soon, too. Move here. We'll siege uh, Tabriz. All right, we can white piece them. Nice. Let's just go ahead and do that. Till fourteen fifty nine. Okay. That's good. We'll have to take a lot of... Oh, what the... That sucks. It's really bad RNG with the whole um, Mamluks fighting them early on. It's just really bad. Okay. Well, we can take all of Akun Yulu, so that's nice. Coalition-wise, just Mamluks. Okay. Let's go ahead and switch our infantry to the Azab. Boost our stability, why not? Reduce that. Okay. Also repay that loan. Let's seize... Uh, we can't seize land. Uh, well, we can actually. But we just have to deal with the noble rebels there. That's small. Small rebels, fine. Alright, there we go. They got their loyalty back. We just have to deal with those rebels there. Alright, we need to fight Hiss and Kaifa next. So, we have the troops to do that now. So, let's go ahead. Well, yeah, we need to take... We need to sell titles, I guess. That's another problem, too. I want to pay off those loans. So, we can get the estate loans again. Uh, 
Um, let's build a spy network. Some more in the Mamluks then. Really need to unify Anatolia. So, I mean, we could do that by here. But it's good that they're allied to Venice and Naples for now. Kind of. But with Naples, do you want to... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's good, I guess. It's good RNG, kind of. Rather than them allied to somebody else, I guess. Okay, let's see. Car the truce break, I guess, once we set up the Mamluks, but we'll get the truce done by then. Let's get the alliance again with uh, Crimea, although at this point their alliance isn't really that useful anymore. It was going to be useful for fighting like Trebizond and all these people over here, but oh well. So let's cancel our military axis with them. Um, I'm ready. Like I said, really bad RNG that Crimea decided to ally Kandar here early on. Not much we can really do about that other than wait, but you know, with time ticking, it's important that we don't wait for things like that. Come on, just take this place. Alright, click another loan, it's fine. Thank God, alright. Let's go ahead and now sell crown land. And we can also lower autonomy in all of these provinces. So much autonomy to lower. Lovely. All right, and I'll help with income. And we can also now go ahead and repay this estate loan, which will allow us to get the 1% loans once again with the merchant guilds, not the demi. Where are they? There they are. Lovely. All right. There we go. We have 2,100 ducats, which is good. Let's also see. How close are we to Renaissance? Yeah, we'll, we'll get it when we get it, I guess. So let's move them back. All right, now we have to fight Hissin Kaifa. And the reason we're fighting them is that we need to take provinces from them in order to release Syria to fight the Mamluks with. So we'll white piece the Mamluks during this war too. So it's imperative that we win really quickly. I mean, what do we need to do? Let's see. We have this mission to defeat the Mamluks. So we just need six provinces here in this region, which kind of tricky to do. Um... Actually, we just need this territory from the Mamluks here to release Syria, so that's what we'll do. We'll take all of this stuff and take that province from them. So it's not a white piece, but hopefully the truce doesn't last too long. So we need to win this war quickly. Let's declare war. Again, numbers-wise, we outnumber them, and we have higher military tech, so we should be fine. So let's go ahead and declare war on his Kaifa. We co belligerated Mamluks, then a lot of other people joined, so we'll take the AE by taking this one province. It's not a problem. Actually, we'll do this. Wait, did they build the fort here? It's in Hissin Kaifa itself. Okay. Let's declare. All right, where are the cannons? So, two cannons here. What's your siege? Zero siege, though. So, we need to... I only have really one good siege leader. That's the problem. Yeah. Okay, so... This guy has the siege. So, let's switch this leader, then. I mean, because I don't want to lose Mehmet, obviously. I guess we could... Get rid of a general, maybe? I mean, what's our army tradition? 61? It's also slacking. Um, yeah, let's get rid of a general. Why not? Let's see. Uh, this general sucks. Don't really want too much of that. I mean, it doesn't really have a lot of shock. So, right. Three siege! Perfect. Okay, so now we have a siege general. So let's assign him. And why don't we bring the Janissaries over and we'll set the Janissaries up with that general. In the meantime, we'll reassign this general here to the free company, I guess. All right. Let's send the can. Er, yeah, let's just send this army here. Uh, you go here. You chill here. Again, we want to cut off um, His and Kaifa's path towards linking up. Crimea, sure. So we need these Janissaries to get those cannons, All right? Just stack wipe them here. Move towards legalism. Yep. All right, there you go. Wow, they didn't actually get stack wipe. 
Awesome. Okay, well, let's go ahead and send you... Let's leave the cannons here, and then we'll send the remaining army out back this way. I guess they're just going to retreat into that territory. All with ourselves, of course. Actually, we want this army besieging there since they have the two siege leader. Go towards legalism again. Why not? Okay. We don't need to replace our scholar. Alright, took there. I'll just swing into this province here. Um... We also have a free diplomat, and where's our navy at? Oh, here. Okay, so the Mamluk navy. Let's see if we can take them on. I think we can. What ideas do they go? Do they go maritime? No, they haven't even unlocked any ideas, what am I saying? Still 1455. Okay, let's then see what we need to do with this diplomat. Alright, Cyprus still hasn't gotten the event, which is good. Let's go ahead and just build a spy network here, I guess. There. Movement speed, nice. Right here. All right, we captured two ships. Nice. We lost a lot though in that battle. We lost a lot. So we need to get some more galleys. Let's just get a ton. And we have to fight the Venetians anyways, so it doesn't matter about going over naval force limit. Separatists there. Okay, we took Kiss and Kaifa, so let's march this way. We'll send the free company to deal with the Separatist. Alright, nice. Paramon, okay. Oh, we got our first government reform, so we're going to choose the unique government reform tier 2 for the Ottomans, the Devonshire system. This gives us some manpower as well as some Janissary loyalty. They do get a bit more influence, so it's going to be relatively high, but their loyalty is high enough, so counteract that. Let us go with the Devonshire system. Right. Won that. 28% here. Oh, we also have some new interactions with our government, which will be useful. We have uh, recruited a new Grand Vizier. We also have... Uh, the heathen recruits that we can conscript and assign local Pasha. So we'll do all three of these. And really unfortunate these sieges are taking so long. All right, there we go. Finally took it. Now we can advance. And they're going to fall back because they have lower military tech than we do. Actually, okay, so we did catch some of them there. It's fine, though. Okay. All that diplomat for now. Just want to see how much this peace deal would be if um, we only took this province, so... Yeah, so we need this war to end as soon as possible. Where are the other two cannons? I'm just going to start barraging. Oh, perfect. They're right here. Alright, let's start barraging stuff. We have plenty of military power. They won't merge. That's interesting. Hopefully once we take this, we can end peace out with the Mamluks and end the war. I didn't even notice they were over there. <laughs> wow. 
That's crazy. I didn't even notice they were just occupying all of the European places. Ah. Uh, it's probably because I moved my fleet and they probably got access around. I'm so bad. That's cringe. Uh. Why can't I... Can't merge mercenary companies. Oh, this is the mercenary company. Okay, I thought they were the Janissaries. There's the Janissaries, okay. Ah, uh, unfortunate. Alright, why don't we send you back over there to unoccupy all that stuff. At least the galleys are being built. God, it's so annoying. That's the EU for AI though. They uh, always go for your territory instead of defending their own, which is why they always lose every war. Let's just go kill the army first. Yeah, they won't accept yet. Oh, it's okay. We need this army here instead. We're barraging. I right, can get admin tech four. Nice. All right, fate of the patriarchy. Of course, we're going to go with this option. Or close this. Alright, so fate of the patriarch shaped. Or the patriarch, I mean, it's a patriarchy. It's Eastern Orthodoxy. So we're going to go with this option. As we are, of course, going to become the second Rome. Never remember stacking them on top of each other. Alright. Alright, at least we. How did they live? Ottoman noble rebels, of course, yeah. Yeah, we can't take one province from them. It's so funny. Oh, that's stupid. Other. Alright. Um, yeah, we need to take this and just piece out the Mamelukes and then we can circle back and deal with those rebels. Really unfortunate I didn't see them sneaking into our territory sooner. Wouldn't expect them to do something so bold. The leader leave? Or no, I think we just took the siege. Alright, surely we can peace out now. Nope, of course not. Of course not. Really, really bad RNG. Super bad RNG this game. I mean, Great Horde being in such a fucking issue. Like, unbelievably stupid that they're allying with people down there, but oh well. Horrible fucking RNG. And the fact that the Mamluks fought Akin Yulu also ruins things too, so... Our navy got crushed, I didn't notice that they came back. So to rebuild all those galleys again. Really unfortunate that they just won't sue for peace because we've occupied two of their forts already anyways, but you know. Whatever. Let's just crush their army right there.
There's a stack wipe, finally. Um. Yeah. One piece now? Yeah, for one province, so you still can't take one province. <laughs> <laughs> Still can't take one province. That's funny as fuck. Alright, we need to link up armies to relieve that siege. So, go ahead and send them back. Just really bad RNG so far in this run. Not much we can do. Guess we have to occupy all the Mamlux territories to take one province. Nope, we can finally take it. Yeah, that's such a shitty war. Um, runs really fucked because of that. I was the truce 1463. All right, yeah. runs super fucked because of that shit. Stop fucking taking the fleet. Alright, let's end this war with Hiss and Kaifa. Take all this shit. No one cares about the coalition. Alright. So now our truce. We just have to wait for truces to go away. I'm unify Anatolia. Lovely. Now we get claims on all of these territories right here that we need to take. Get the fuck back. Thought I ordered them back already, and apparently not. Can we take this route, please. Idiots. Oh wow, 21% in one tick. Yeah, that's that's realistic. It's that's for sure. Alright, let's attack. We'll just spend the military power to get the garrison to help us. Really stupid at the deal with the noble fucking rebels there. Alright, they're dead. Okay, so now we need to declare war on Cyprus to reset the truce to the Mamluks. At least one of our allies will finally help us. That's crazy, and Genoa's assisting them for some reason, too. That also sucks. So, again, really more bad RNG. Unbelievable. Why would Genoa help them? They're in the trade league with Genoa. Yeah, that's that's really unfortunate. Why were these armies combined? I don't ever remember combining them. <sighs> Alright, let's just do this. And... Take these, alright. Don't remember combining you, but whatever. Not Mehmet. This where's the general? Oh, he was assigned to the other army, I see. Alright. I don't repair the navy, as the Mamluks did a number on us, which was really unfortunate. Um yeah, we only have 42 more years, though, and the problem is that we have a truce with Akunyulu, which is really annoying to deal with. I would have liked to have this region wrapped up, like, a few years sooner, but sadly not the case. Alright, well, we have to fight Genoa then, I guess. At least Crimea will help us in that war. We just need more ships. A lot more ships. Fuck off with that, Sienna, or whoever, Rara. Alright, can we do anything with the states? Nope, things are still looking good, luckily. Alright. Let's come down here and fuck up the Mamluks again. Let's also delete this fort here. First Splendor ability, we're going with Justified Wars for the AE reduction. Let's get Devil Tech 5, why not? We actually have military access with Genoa, so let's get rid of that. Burgundy in succession, did they say Burgundy will remain Burgundy? Wow, oh, Palatina, wow. That's crazy. Okay, Castile's expanding into Morocco. Yeah, things are not looking good for this run so far. Really unfortunate. Even um, 
Yeah, actually, Albania, who we were going to... Well, who's at war with? Okay, so maybe Albania won't get taken in that war, I guess, which will be nice. We just want that Reconquest CB. All right, I guess we'll build a spy network here. Need to fight Cyprus, which they are luckily not a vassal, so this works out because we can reset the truce with the Mamluks for five years, which will be good. And then we're going to fight Arda Yulu, and it looks like we're going to have to fight Ajam for this territory down here as well. So, a bit unfortunate. Just double check though what we need to be completely sure. I think we do need that territory. Down there, but uh, you know, it'll be. We'll just break our alliance with the Jam and have to fight them, I guess. Double check here. Yeah, we do need that territory down there. Okay. Relatively unfortunate, but that's all right. Let's go ahead and declare war on Cyprus. We'll invite Crimea into the war. We're fighting Luca, Genoa, Theodoro, Saluzzo, Mamelukes. Hopefully we can take maybe some territory in Italy to begin expanding in there because we're still a little behind of what I was hoping for. So let's declare this war. Again, we just need to piece out the Mamluks really quickly. Let's kill the Genoese here in Lesbos. All right. I don't know how they lived, but they lived. Oh, and their fleet trapped us. Okay. It's Cyprus. Uh, Genoa's fleet's coming. Actually. Okay, I guess our. Oh, we lost our. Lost our admiral. That's the military leader we lost. Okay. Fucked up there. Uh. Alright, let's just retreat there. They're gonna have naval supremacy, I think, the entire war, which is unfortunate. Okay, um, let's just go help, I guess, kill Theodoro. Or defeat them. Okay. Then loan, extend loan, enemy invasion. Okay, let's head back. Would like to combine our fleets here, but we're completely surrounded. Let's just peace out with the Mamluks so we can figure things out. Master of Mint died, right? Let's go with this advisor. Let's build a spy network in Genoa. Come on, 78%. Gosh, so annoying. Guess the Mamluks won't assist their troops. So that's fine by me. I guess Crimea is going to lose to Theodoro, which is just kind of crazy, but classic Crimea, classic AI allies moment. I guess we'll just go up there then. I probably had 45,000 troops sometime, but I guess they just keep running away. So that's fine. Oh, they own this territory over here too, okay. Let's barrage. We can call in Ajam to help. Um, 
I guess. Wouldn't hurt. I don't know what they're gonna do. They want white piece still? No, surprisingly not. Okay. Alright, they're gonna siege that down for us, so let's move back. So you take this forward here and we can piece out the Mamelukes. Decadence, yeah, sucks. Alright. True send it with Karakun Yulu, so we need to hurry. And declare war on them next. Let's go ahead and sue for peace with them. What we're going to do is just a white piece as it resets the truce for just five years. All right. Now we can finally move everybody back. We need to get ready to declare war on Akunyulu. All right, now where are their navies going? Okay, let's try to see if we can win this engagement here. This time though, we need an admiral. Or I forget. Okay, garbage roll, but be expected, I guess. Have to accept it. Okay. It right, looks like we're going to win that engagement, thankfully. Okay, now let's leave this area. Okay. Then capture ship. That's alright, we can finally get our fleet assembled once again. Because we do need to take Cyprus. Let's also go ahead and take, um, is there Janissaries in this army? Whatever. Let's just send the free company to go take this island from Noah when we get over there. Luca, yeah. Okay, let's go to Cyprus or get ready to land in Cyprus. They're gonna take it for us over there. We'll send you this way. Shadow Kingdom. Alright. Oh, okay. I guess their feet went. Nice, All right. Okay, we got lots of galleys, which is good. And now we just need to get um, hogs or transport ships. Okay. Let's go ahead and come over here to Cyprus so we can land on there. And now let's declare war on Kardakunyulu. Much weaker. Um, can we actually release a place? Uh, we have Syria, but we can't release anybody anyways. That's fine. We need to take uh, these provinces here. All the provinces in um, Anatolia. Which, I guess, if we look at our claims, I can double check. I think it's just these three here that we need. Let me double check what we need for um, Emmett's Ambition. Let's see. Okay, so we don't need Bayezid, we just need uh, Van and Bitlis. Okay. So we'll take Van, Bitlis for these two, and then we'll take Mosul to release Iraq, who we can then use for reconquest against Akunyulu later. So let's go ahead and declare this war next. Not going to call in Najam, we'll just do the war goal on Van. Actually, let's go ahead and call Najam. Why not? They'll it'll set a truce with them too. They'll be they'll have a truce with uh, the um, Artakunyulu. Actually, if I say. All right, let's go. Madonna. <laughs> All right, as long as there's some left for me. Oh, national unrest, right? Let's get an advisor again. We'll do Diplo Rep.
Have a revolt. So let's send the free company back to deal with that. Um, we do need to start deving for the institution of Renaissance. Let's see. How close are we to it? Pretty close. So let's just go ahead and encourage development in Constantinople. And what we can do is, yeah, this military power is going to be a lot. But, again, way ahead in military tech. So it won't be an issue. How close are we? Relatively close. Let's go ahead and dev up once. 71%. There we go. Renaissance has been Constantinople, which is nice, and we can embrace it for a lot of ducats. So let's see. Yeah, loan wise, we have up to 34 loans. Okay. So we're going to have to start repaying those loans. We'll just have to embrace it later, probably. Theodora wants peace. Let's give it to them by having them go away. Oh, oops. Forgot the free companies over there. Ooh. Allow him to go where he wishes and army professionalism, right? That took forever for him to get off that boat. Let's barrage that. Alright, we need to go deal with Genoa now. Why don't we just go ahead and take the loans, I guess, to get Renaissance? Alright, how close are we? Let's see, we have 10 loans and we can have up to 35, okay. We're losing a lot of ducats, though. Ah, oh. might have to delete a mercenary company too. Ooh, we got a uh, fasting. Let's get admin tech five, which now we can unlock our first idea group. Could go with um, admin ideas itself to get that core creation cost, but I think we're gonna go with um, diplomatic as our first idea, as we want more diplomats, and we do want to get the final thing locked unlocked, so that way we have lowered stability on diplomatic actions when we do truce breaks. Let's do Diplo and then we'll do um, Admin. Also Diplo does have the uh, Province War Score cost reduction which is going to be useful as well. Crush that Navy. Genoese Navy here. So we just need Bitless Fan and Mosul. Yeah, we're a little ways away. If high war exhaustion, let's fix that. After this war, we're going to disband uh, mercenary companies to manage our economy a little bit. I right, took that province. Ooh, we need to get over there really quickly. Oh, we can do the deal now. Perfect. Okay, so how long does this truce last until 1468? Okay, so seven years. Not too terrible. Alright, there we go. Let's go ahead and disband this mercenary company. That'll help with the income. There we go, now we're positive income again. We just need the free company at this point now. Should be getting our manpower back, and then we'll ratchet up the mercenary companies um, a bit more. Let's also delete the fort in Ankara. And now we're just at war with Cyprus, Genoa, Luca, and Salutol. So, 
Let's take the free company here and let's land in Corsica, I guess. Or, oh, we need... <laughs> we just need a few more cogs, so let's get um, a few here. Why not? Let's also rest our ships here at Arta or recover our ships repair. Alright, when does this truce with the Mamluks begin? Um, 1464, okay, so we need to end this war quickly to release two nations that we'll use for reconquest CBs. Just need to take Cyprus, which we barraged it still, and it's taking this long. Kind of crazy. Wine? <laughs> what about wine? Wine tastes good. Um, let's see, where do we want to build a spy network on? Let's see. Um... Why don't we just continue building the spy network on the Mamluks that we have now? Or... Not sure. Ooh, monthly autonomy change towards legalism. Nice. How are we doing on that, by the way? Okay. Here. Send you this way. Alright, there we go. It took Cyprus. Nice. Problem is, is that we can't bring that army back. We don't have enough uh, hogs. Not have enough transport ships. Bit unfortunate. Let's see, maybe we can peace out with Cyprus, although I, I really don't want to do it this way, but oh yeah. Because I do want to take these islands from Genoa and then we can fight uh, Albania and just obliterate people. Aragon. Allied to Aragon? Ooh. That's painful. Okay. Well, well, well. Let's just destroy their fleet then, I guess. Alright. Also get rid of this uh, light ship. We don't need it. Let's just get them across, I guess, for now. While we wait for these ships to, uh... <clears throat> While we wait for these ships to build. <laughs> okay. Got them across. Nice. Agenda is going to expire with this place. So let's develop this in Bulgaria. We'll do encourage development. And two tax, I remember. Alright, ten prestige. Nice. Even though we had a lot of prestige, but still. Okay. Transported them over. Let's move back this way. We lose the leader, is that why the siege took a little longer? I think that was All right. Let's get two more. We'll do that. Just need more transports. Another military leader left. Okay. I think it was the free company one, yep. Okay. Now at this point, truce with them ends in 64, so two years. And then we need to... What does this truce end? 68, okay. So yeah, we have to release these two nations and fight them again, and we're going to have to fight Ajam, which is unfortunate, but we'll dissolve that alliance and stuff in a little bit, um, because we do need to start expanding westward as well. Just need these to be built quickly. Takes forever to build ships in this game. Okay. There we go, now we have plenty. So let's send uh, our Janissaries along with the guns to... 
Corsica first. Let's just improve relations with our ally Bohemia and let's also get another diet. Number of loans, Timrids. I really don't know where this is. Oh, it's for Albania. Okay, we'll do that. Actually, we don't need to core Mosul. We'll just release it at some point. Looks like Ajam made it over there. Do we have military access all the way over there, actually? Oh my god, we did. Okay. Let's go that way, then. So our income's coming back, so we can repay some of those loans. Alright, so Ajam was pretty useful, then. Alright, we got Corsica. Ooh, okay, so we have the Ottoman government type event with the Sons of Mehmet. So we have three options. 433, the natural leader. We have a 114, the inquisitive. Or a 663, which is the generous. Of course, we're going to go with the 663. Really great. Let's name him... Hmm... Arad, Salim, we'll do Sudamon. Alright, let's see, we're at war with Saluto as well, right? So let's just... Let's land in Luka, I guess. Revolt, swear, an Armenian. Or the Armenian Revolt. More Rebels. We took that province. Let's send you back on the ship now. Actually, I, let's barrage Genoa first. So. Took that province, okay. Sail back this way. Alright, let's see if we can peace out with Genoa for what we want. Don't know if we can, but we'll see. Alright, we want these two islands, which they won't give us. We want Corsica. That's what we want from this peace deal. Coalition-wise, nobody would join, which is nice. But we do want Corsica, so we can have access to the Italian peninsula. Right, when that there. Now we just need to wait for Genoa to finish being besieged. And also peace out Luca. Let's do that. We're going to just do let's see. Let's just do war reps. It, what's the truce still? 69, yeah, we'll just do war reps. Don't wanna extend the truce for too long of a period. Oh they're taking back. No 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 don't oh god I didn't even notice they were taking they're gonna try to take back Corsica. Ah damn it. Okay. I didn't see that their army made it back somehow, but I guess they got access through Florence or something. That's fine. Let's just send them this way. To crush their army on uh, Corsica. Okay. 
Need to move you guys into position to fight the Mamelukes next. Take the siege. Please. Seven percent, please. Ugh. Right, we have a hundred percent. I guess they unconditionally surrendered or something. I didn't get the unconditionally surrendered notification. There we go. Now, now we got it. Who's fighting who over here? Valakia is a junior partner of Herzegovina. What? Wow. That's crazy. Herzegovina. Good. Valakia is a junior partner. Wow. All right. So that'll make things interesting. I guess when we start expanding that way into the Balkans. Okay, took back Corsica. Just need the siege to end. And then we can peace out. Take Cyprus, these two provinces here. Take Corsica. And uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Saluzzo. We have like a long truce with Saluzzo. That's fine. I think it should be fine at least. We can just truce break them later. They're tiny. Diplorep. Nice. Okay, come on. Oh, good event for prospering times. Let's see. Let's just do infrastructure come on take the siege already that's the assault really don't want to all right we can get our first idea in diplo it gives us another diplomat nice all right 340 days perfect okay let's sue for peace then with genoa we'll take corsica these two islands in terms of aggressive expansion only the mamelux what about this province here still no aggressive expansion but i think we'll wait um, I don't know how long this truce is. 1474, okay. What about if war reparations are added? 1475, okay, just a year. Let's do that. There we go. Now we have Corsica in our possession, so it gives us access to the Italian peninsula for later on. Let's now move our troops back this way. We'll send you on a ship here. Let's go ahead and make these provinces ours. And now what we can do is we need to release... Well, we need to peace out with Cyprus first, actually. Oops, forgot about that. Let's go ahead and sue for peace with Cyprus. Take Cyprus, all their ducats. There we go. Islands under our possession now. Lovely. Now we can set a new rival. Let's go with um, Arakunyulu. Because we still need to take some territory from them. And let's score Cyprus. And now what we need to do is release two subjects. We're going to release... Syria. And the next one we're going to release is... Where are they? Can we not release them? Oh, did I take the wrong... Pro Wait. We have to... For a province to release it? Oh, is it Kurdish? I think I chose the wrong province. Ooh, we can't re release Iraq yet. Hmm... Because it's Kurdish culture, I think. Uh, that might have been a mistake. That might have been a mistake. Okay. Um, shoot. I thought Mosul would have been... Yeah, we should have taken this province over here. That's fine. I guess we'll just have to fight Kardakunyulu a fourth time. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. But that's really an... Yeah, that might be a mistake that might demand a restart. Although I don't think I have a say... Well, I definitely can't alt F4 back to that war. But... Oh well. Yeah, I forgot if uh, it's Kurdish culture, you can't release Iraq. It needs to be Mashriki culture. So... Yeah. Hmm. I, I guess we could release somebody else then. Like... Um, where is it? Um... I guess we can't release Akumulu then either. So, yeah, a bit unfortunate there. Oh well. That's right though. Let's me go ahead and uh, be right back though. Need to go to the bathroom. But uh, we'll continue here in a second. So, be back shortly.
All right. I'm back. So yeah, that was um. Again, I f I forgot that we needed to actually get one of these provinces over here. I don't think it derails the run too terribly. We'll just have to fight or tree break Karakunulu instead, which pretty unfortunate, but oh well. Um, we'll just have to make this a core, I guess. Oh, so ruin some admin power. I'm really unlucky, but um. Yeah, in the next war against them, I guess we'll just take one province from them, so it'll be a lot quicker. And the truce will be reset once again. Ajam will probably take more, so we'll have to fight Ajam a few times, so we'll get rid of that Ajam alliance soon. Gotta get our truce back. Let's see, so we can repay that loan, extend the other one. Um, Let's just lose the government reform progress, that's fine. Right, move towards legalism again. Let's get another royal marriage. Let's send these troops back this way. Okay, so now what we need to do is we'll declare war on the Mamluks next, and we also need to start expanding into the Balkans. So we have a few war goals here, but the main one we need to do is fight Albania. We'll call in Bohemia and fight Venice and Naples now, which. I think they have 22 ships and they have 42, so our navy won't be useful in this war, badly. That's alright. So let's get these troops this way. We'll wait for them to return and we'll fight Albania, Venice, and Naples. We'll white peace Naples. Or we'll have them break their alliance. Or No, actually Albania won't exist after this, so it's fine. I don't think Naples is... Yeah, they're allied to other people, but it won't be a problem. Let's um, continue. Let's actually build a spy network on Venice. We need to start doing that, and we'll build one on Naples as well. We need to piece them out relatively quickly. Let's cancel this one. Hmm. We could just focus solely on the Mamluks, though. May have to, to be honest. When does this true send? October 64. Okay, let's lower autonomy some more. Let's also seize Crownlands. And we'll sell again. There we go. Let's now repay these estate loans. Only one more estate loan. And let's go ahead and grab the indebted to the bourgeoisie, or the bourgeoisie. <laughs> Oops, indebted to the merchant guild is what I meant. All right, there we go. Plenty of income now to work with. We could repay some of these bank loans. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, we're making positive income, so that's fine. All right, they're no longer a valid rival. Let's just go with... Um, Mm, Austria for now. Okay. So. Let's see. Mamelukes are tech 4. We're tech 5. Hopefully we'll be tech 6 soon. Let's see. Venice is tech 5. Naples is tech 5. Hmm, alright. Good to go after some other Balkan nations then instead. I like to Hungary. We call Bohemia into that war for Serbia, but I do want to take Kosovo, gold mine. Let's fight let's fight this war instead, and then we'll fight Mamlux, and then we'll fight um, Albania, Venice, and uh, Naples. This war will be quicker, as it's only Velika and um Herzegovina, and we'll just take all of Herzegovina's territory, so... Or we'll just establish an Aelid. I haven't decided. Maybe they're at war with Hungary. This is, what does Herzegovina have wars on? They don't have any really thing, so we'll just... Take what we can, and then we'll make Serbia, maybe, a, um... Yeah, they have reconquest wars against Hungary, which we can use, so... Maybe we can fight Serbia first. They're guaranteed by Hungary. They are. If we fight Serbia first, that might be the better option, because they'll have Hungary not join coalitions with us. So I think we'll do that, actually. 
make Serbia our um Alet, and then um we'll fight Herzegovina. Yeah. But yeah, Hungary shouldn't be too big of an issue. The only problem is if they get weakened too much, then the Austrians will get uh some ideas. So hmm. Tough tough to path this out. Like I said, it's um it's going to take a minute to think about this. So Herzegovina. Yeah, I do want the gold mine in Kosovo. Hmm. Welcome back, welcome back. How's it going? How's it going? Okay. Serbian. I mean, I think from Hungary we just need the territories that are in the Balkans. So these two right here. And then Croatia's territory. That's all in the Balkans. We don't need anything from Hungary itself. So yeah, let's fight. Let's fight Serbia and we'll use Serbia. So we'll call in Bohemia. We'll do four gold there is fine. Hungary's going to join, it's not a problem. Can we co belligerate them? Good, really. Hmm. Now nah, we'll just use the reconquest that we'll get against them later if they inherit Croatia. And we're not at Vienna. I mean, it's, uh, you know, we're conquering a lot of other areas. It's just uh, slow pace, slow steady. We have to play precisely, so that's the that's the thing about the achievement. All right, let's. Uh, I mean, we'll get to Vienna soon. We'll get to Vienna soon. We're on our way. We just need to take the Balkans first. All right, let's do, go ahead and declare this war. Move these troops here. Move you here. We don't need those troops. We'll fight the Mamluks soon. So let's build a spy network in Hungary. Bohemia should distract Hungary enough that we can take most of Serbia. Raj. <clears throat> Alright, Valachia wants military access? Who are you at war with? They're at war with uh, Bosnia, okay. Have they fixed the F? Estates mechanic since 2020. Uh, what estates mechanic? Now I have like uh, six privileges for each estate. That's pretty nice. Where do we get rebels, by the way? Right here. Oh, there's a uh, Bohemia going in. No. Oh well, unfortunate. Why don't we bring this army over here? Doesn't hurt actually. 28% there, 42, 42. Actually making lots of ducats, which is good. Did we lose Urban? We did. Oh, but we can get discipline. Nice. Alright, so now we're at 115 discipline already? Oof, that's pretty strong. We want to make this... I think we'll keep it a territory. For now we can, but I do want to... Well, we are ahead in admin tech actually anyway, so let's go ahead and just do that. Alright. Truce with them ends again when... October 1464. Okay, so we'll kind of not have a... We'll have them not in a truce for a bit. Alright, took here. What's the threshold for them? Okay, we just need to take a few more places. Back when you had to assign each and every province to the state. No, it's the... <laughs> no, no, no. No longer a thing, I don't think. Although, I don't know. Maybe it depends on which DLCs you have. You know how Paradox is with their DLC policy? <laughs> EU4 being the main culprit. Some random events mucking about with the estate influence. Yeah, that, that does happen. That does happen from time to time. Yep. That's just the uh, RNG of this game. It's uh, cursed and beautiful. 
Let's um let's see. Yeah, we can alright, uh oof. Where's Bohemia's army? Did they Okay, they still have 18k. There's 9k of them right there. Let's go ahead and siege pest. Let's just lose the prestige, we'll get it back. Okay. What to do with this diplomat? I guess we'll just leave the spy network here in the Mamelukes. We're at 40, but we need that to be higher. Oh, Bohemia is actually going to win that. Nice. Truce with the Mamelukes is over. We need to take, actually, this place, I guess. Not really, but... Actually, where's the forts? We need to go for the forts. Trenchant, okay. We can probably peace out Hungary, though, here any moment. And then we'll take Serbia. Oh, we got the administration. Um, what? Oh, our administration got filtered. Oh, did... Hmm, no, I think Orban just died. Okay, we need to add the scholar again. Okay, we actually took Pest, which is good. Let's recall this diplomat. And let's peace out with Hungary. We're just going to do a white peace as we can declare war on them again in five years in 69. So let's do that. Two for peace. And now all we need to do is take this province from Serbia. And then we'll use Serbia to fight Hungary again for the territories that we need. Revolt where? Okay, all the way down there. We need to go down and fight the Mamluks now. Alright, took there, so perfect. Let's go ahead and uh, sue for peace. What we're going to do is we're going to make them a vassal. It's not much aggressive expansion, not much of a coalition, and we'll take all their ducats. Lovely. So now we have our first vassal. Again, over Diplo relations, doesn't really matter. But now what we can do is we can get this privilege here, which is... Uh, where is it? Strong duchies. There we go. Since we have two vassals, so now we're... Not above uh, Diplo relations, and we can get another diplomatic relation in the future. Okay. And we need to promote them to an Aelit, and then eventually make them a core Aelit. Eventually. For now, though, we need actually to get these Reconquest claims here, and we need to fight Herzegovina with our, the Reconquest claims they just got. Because they got Reconquest on all these provinces here, including Kosovo which is that gold mine. So we'll give them all the, the other territories that they have, and then we'll take Kosovo for ourselves. At least that was my plan. Or we could release, um, let's see, who should we release? Bosnia, but Bosnia is over here. What is, let's see, Bosnia has claims where? Okay, so Bosnia is in the middle of fighting Hungary, so what we can do is we can release like Montenegro, in Zenta here and they have a reconquest against Venice so we could use that uh, potentially in the future and these reconquest wars are really good because lowered aggressive expansion let's go ahead and declare on Herzegovina now reconquest of Kosovo again they're only joined by Valakia no troops so shouldn't be a problem let's see we do need an army to go deal with those uh, rebels that send the free company. We'll probably get another mercenary company here pretty soon. Alright, occupied Kosovo. Then do this way. Occupied there. Oop. Let's transfer occupation to uh, Serbia. by Valakia. Right, let's go this way. We're going to 
We'll keep Montenegro, I think. Yeah, we'll provide those ducats. Okay, let's barrage that. Okay. We can call Bohemia in. We don't need to, though. Um, let's see. Mamluks have 42k. Hmm. Yeah, we do need to declare war on them soon. How long is this truce with Hungary until 1469? Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to juggle a lot of truces and it's gonna be relatively close because we still need lots of territory. Got a really bad RNG at a few parts, so. Alright, let's deal with those noble rebels. There we go. Move this way. Venice declared war on Croatia. No way. Alright, so Hungary is now at war with Venice. That actually helps us quite a bit. Because we can take advantage of that situation. Although we do need to fight the Mamluks. So we might have to declare uh, two wars at the same time. Alright, there we go. Let's see. So, I don't really think we need to give this to Montenegro. Or release Montenegro. Let's just give this all to Serbia here. And two for peace. Can we take the provinces that we want? Which is just these ones right here. Not yet. But look at that. Apparently in the AE, which will be good. We just need to take uh, here really quickly, which... Valakia, I guess, is a junior partner of Herzegovina, so... I guess if we fully annex them, we get Valakia as well, I think. Or maybe Valakia will go free. I'm not really sure what happens to them. But regardless, let's do this peace deal. We don't really need Valakia's territory for the achievement. Yeah, they just went independent. Alright. Ooh, military tech 6. Perfect. We get the um, new cav, which is the... Uh, Tima, uh, I, oh my god, I don't, I don't really know how to pronounce it in Turkish, but Timarait Kav, this is, um, I guess the, I mean, kind of the precursor to Sfias, or the, the Safahis, again, <laughs> don't really know the pronunciations, but know about the history, right? Um, so, yeah, these were, like, the equivalent of knights, Roughly in the uh, Ottoman system, the Tamars, they were like given plots of land and then recruited as cab units. So they essentially functioned similar to knights, but again, it's not so simple. So if, you know, I have to probably read more sources to fully understand how they worked in the Ottoman system, but essentially they were given fiefdoms or territories or plots of land, like farms, estates, to, um, then, you know, serve in the military as well afterward. Alright, so let's get them. Now, we should fight Mr. Mamelouk. Which, we do have the military tech advantage. Let's get all of our troops over to Syria so we can fight this war. The revolts, okay. Everybody wants money. We don't want a royal marriage with Syria, actually, because it'll take up a diplo slot. We need to save those, potentially. Royal marriages take up diplo slots, but the Aeolits that we will create will not. Which, we just need to improve relations with that vassal. Right, let's get our navy ready to fight Amelukes as well.
Ooh, okay, we got a claim on the Lanto, which is here in Naples. The Ottomans did take a bit of territory in the Kingdom of Naples in the 1480s, but then um, Mehmet did pass away. And so basically the Ottoman garrison was never reinforced and was retaken by Naples and the Ottomans never pursued further Italian conquest for quite a long time. No, I don't want to give you military access hungry. All right, so let's declare this war. We're going to do the reconquest war for our vassal Syria here. We'll just select this province. We have more troops than them, slightly. We have higher military tech, so let's go ahead and declare this war. Could get mercenaries if we absolutely need to, or another mercenary stack. I don't think we do though. But we might, just because we do need to win this war quickly. Alright, we got Corsica. Twenty-one percent already, lovely. Okay, let's fight the Mameluk Navy there. Only twenty ships, so not too bad. Where are you going? Why are you running? Um, just don't want to lose the ducats. Captured two ships, thanks. Let's just repair for a bit. Okay, here come the Mameluke armies. Right, on that siege. Keep going. We're actually going to catch somebody here, so let's reinforce that, because we're going to win, but we want, like, a stack, but maybe. Which we got one. Nice. So there's 12,000 gone. Okay, where's the... There's the cannons. Okay. Now the Memlucks are down to, what, 35k? Alright, they'll probably replace the numbers. Alright, let's go ahead and... Let's see, this province, we need to barrage once again. Again, we're ahead in military attack, so it shouldn't be a problem. Well, actually, Syria is going to siege that from the spells, okay. Let's go ahead and fight this 25k right here. Or can we? I don't think we can. That no, we can't. Okay. Uh, Diplo power. I guess. Who wants military access? Bosnia, no. So the reason we need to win this war is that we have this mission right here, Defeat the Mameluks, that we can complete it and we get a CB against the Mameluks that will last for 50 years and it's called the Ottoman Invasion. This will replicate the events that happened historically where the Mameluk Sultanate was annexed by the Ottomans in a single war during the reign of the Sultan Selim. In, I think it was like 1517, around then, is when that war took place. And so this mission, once we complete it, gives us the option to replicate that war once our truce with the Mamluks ends, which, if we win this quick enough, it should end like in the 1480s, which puts us on a bit of a time crunch. So we'll see. <laughs> Again, would have ideally liked to have released Syria a lot sooner, but oh well. I think for this war we just need how many provinces? Six and we own one, so let's just set this up right away so we can get the ones that we want. So we'll do one, two, four. Well, we'll do provinces up here, I guess. That's a little more than six. Let's unselect these. <laughs> select the map that might be a bit easier. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Six. Okay, so that's 59 war scores, so a couple of forts, but that's kind of the plan is one, two, three, four, five. Well, we already have one, so we just need five, so we'll do that. Maybe we'll do... Where's the fort? This is the fort. <laughs> fort Gore, though. Um, we'll do this, I guess. I think, right? Double check here. Six provinces. We currently own one, so one, two, three, four. One, two, four, five, six. Okay. So that's all we need to 
have these scores returned, so we can definitely get that war score relatively quickly. Because the sooner the truce is over, we can do the Ottoman invasion against them. And besides, we do need to conquer a lot of places left. But we still have 30 years, 33 years, so... Let's see, let's start building a spy network on Albania. And we'll... Yeah, we'll keep the spy network going on Hungary because we do need to fight them when our truce ends with them in two years. And we need to fight Arda Kunyulu in a year, so... Yeah. We're on a tight schedule. In fact, why don't we just go ahead and get some more mercenaries. Loan-wise, we only have six loans, so we can afford another big merc stack, probably. Let's just check the land force limit. Okay. We can get another merc stack. Let's see. We want Grand's company again. Another 14k. Let's go with the Grand's company, see if we can afford the Grand's company. Seven a month? Yeah, we can probably afford them, maybe, for a little bit. It'll be useful as we have a string of wars we need to win really quickly. And they can fight battles for us, so... Alright, we took this fort here, so... Ah, oh, they're gonna make it away in time. Alright, let's get to the next fort along the coast. Pretty decent leader. Alright, we can get admin tech six. Nice. Okay, go over here. Willy, what's up? <laughs> paper is the future? Nice. Yep, paper is the future. Let's barrage here as well. How's our military? We're not behind. Yeah, we're not behind by any means. Okay. Poland's rivaling us. That's fine. All right, let's keep moving this way along the coast here. And I don't want to abandon this army here, but still need to be quick. Okay. Um, when's this true send? Fourteen sixty-eight. Oh, we can actually do a reconquest against them. That would be nice. Okay. Why Syria is such a good vassal. Why don't you occupy al -Qud? Don't think they're going to fight us in any battles since we out-military tech them, but... You know. Alright, how are we doing on the war score? Halfway. 49% here. Oh, there's the capital right there, okay. Wow. What? How do you get... Oh, oh, thank god. Okay, I thought it was Mehmet for a second. No, Mehmet has strict. Okay, oh, thank god. I was worried. Is that the air, though? Morale of armies? Oh, god, Mehmet, please stay alive the whole run. That would be amazing. Unstable economy? Um, okay. Decadence, I guess. Revolts? Alright, good. We were already there for the revolt. Thanks. Are we losing 22 ducats a month? <laughs> That's nothing. That's nothing. Where's the... Uh, they're here. Right, we need to go barrage that. Send the cannons in. Go ahead and barrage. We'll leave them there. There we go, we took that. Okay, so that should give us the war score we need for this peace deal. Which would be really nice. Okay. Two for peace. Yes, it does. Perfect. Okay, so, just to double check, we need... Six total provinces, and we also need to own... That's right, we do need to own one of the following. Thank God I didn't complete that peace deal yet. We need to own either this province or al -Qud. So let's transfer occupation of this province to Syria. Let's see. If we add this, they will still accept that. And if we do a return core... Okay, yep, they will still accept that. Lovely. So one, two, three, four, five. Six. Okay. Just double check it's not both of them. Reading, right? One of the following must be true. All right. One of the following must be true. Aleppo, yep, 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 yep. Okay. Okay, I think that's what's... 
we can do again we'll just alt f4 if uh, <laughs> it's a wrong piece deal and it'll take us back to here um we could take money from them but we don't need to again we want the truce to be reset so only 1478 not bad not bad not bad let's go ahead and send this demand and we can complete the mission all right perfect defeat the mamelukes so now the cb lasts for 50 years truce only lasts for 15 years so plenty of time and we also get permanent claims on the entire region what we could do is technically you only need to own i think this province right here in order to complete mehmet's ambition so we might do that instead of getting the full aolid but i'm gonna try the aolids and see if that works so let's complete this mission all right and we got claims on all of this territory which is nice so now at this point Harakunyulu, May, all right, and then Hungary, December 69, Bosnia, ooh, Perugia, where's Perugia at? They're right here, okay. So we'll probably fight Bosnia next and then get into Croatia, and we need to get to Vienna. We also need to take these two places from Hungary, and then we need to fight Venice, so... Hmm, but Venice... Okay, well, I have a plan for Venice, actually. We just need to get our troops all the way back over there. What we'll do is we'll declare war on Albania here, which they're guaranteed by Venezia. And what we can do is during that war with Venice, we can have them break that alliance with Aragon. Also... Oh, we took it ourselves? I thought I did return core. That's not good. Okay, let's just... <laughs> Oops, let's just grant them these provinces. Grants core claim. Let's just do... Where is it? Can we not... What? Do I need to core these? I really don't want to core those. Ugh. Pain. Pain. I guess we'll just try to see what this does. Grants core claim. Where's the provinces, though? Oh, it's this one. Oh, are we, we grant them our claim. Okay, but I want to... Grants province. I think that's what we need to do. Sorry. We need to do grants province. Okay. All right, so we need to do palms. All right, we just need to, I guess, do this over and over. Palms. Oops, yeah, I thought it was. I thought I was returning it to them. So, okay, we need to do this one. Grant province again. This one. Oops. All right, and that should be all of them. Yep. Okay. There we go. Now we don't need to core anything. We're just coring close. Oof. Okay. That's a bit confused. Okay. Let's now have all our troops come back. What we need to do is send you to uh, Europe. And now we can promote Syria to an Alit. Now that they are an Alit, they get this new fancy color. Lovely. And now they don't take up a diplomatic relations slot as a vassal, which is also lovely. And we get some manpower from our Alit. Is also good. They give us 3,700 actually. And we need to rein them in, which we can do immediately. And reining in an A lit will make it. Well, we can't do it immediately actually. We have a truce. Or we have, a, we have to wait, I guess, for another diplomat to get there to be available. But we need to rein in A lits to make them core A lits. Once they're a core A lit, it counts for the Mehmet's ambition achievement, which we're going for. So that's good that we have Syria as an A lit already. And looks no longer a rival. That's fine. Let's go ahead and rival Poland, I guess. Probably should have switched that to Castile. We can do that later, though. Changing rivals is a lot quicker now with the recent updates. Okay, everybody's got to move. We got to move. All right, let's get rid of the. Um, let's see. Who should we get rid of? No, nah, I think we can keep everybody. They're all just moving all together, which is a bit annoying. Attrition. 
Alright, we need to get our navy ready to fight the Venetians. We don't need all of our troops here. We can leave these uh, troops. Actually, we do need you, though. You have the cannons, so where are you? We'll take you and leave you this way. Because we do need to fight Akunyulu here pretty soon. Royal marriage offer? No. All right, now let's just declare this war against Albania. Reconquest. We'll call in Syria and Bohemia. Actually, we won't call in Syria. We don't need them. Um, and Venice will be called in, which is good. If we co-belligerated them, we'd be fighting Aragon and everybody, which... I mean, it would be nice to take out the knights, though. It would really be nice to take out the knights, to be honest. Um, are you winning? Hey, what's up? What's up, Saf? Um, doing all right. Doing all right. Um, 1468. Um, so far, not too shabby. Um... I have a, to wait for this truce with the Mamluks to either make them an Aelid or just take some place, and then I have to fight Karakunyulu and possibly Ajam some, but about to fight Albania and Venice. Economy's doing alright, just losing 20 ducats a month. We still are doing okay on loans, only 7 loans. We can take up to 38. Have plenty of troops, 78k, 48 ships. Just uh, casual Ottoman things. Um, Hungary and Venice are fighting each other, so we're going to take advantage of that situation. So let's do the reconquest of here. We'll call in Bohemia. And I'd love to co belligerate Venice, but they're allied to Aragon. Which. I mean, I would. It's not impossible to win, it's just more of how many ships do they have, which. I mean, Venice has 42, and Aragon has 28, so. Yeah. Well, they're actually allied to Austria, too. That's dirty. Oof. That's dirty. A lot more to get in just 30 years. Yep. Yep. It's going to be painful. It's going to be painful. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I got pretty bad RNG with um, the Great Horde allied Kandar early on. And um, the Mamluks actually beat up um, Akunyulu. So I had to fight the Mamluks and Hissing Kaifa, which made me have a truce with the Mamluks a little bit longer. And I had to release Syria like later instead of just taking it from Akun Yulu. I had to take it from Hissing Kaifa or the Mamluks. I can't remember which one. I think it was the Mamluks which made the truce even longer. But um, we shall see. We shall see. So uh, let's let's fight the Venetians though first, and we'll call in Bohemia. Um, I'll break their alliance with Aragon, I think, but um, I do need to take quite a few places from them, so going to be lots of truce breaks in this run, or just probably we'll have to restart another time and hopefully get better RNG. All right, let's let's see though. We still have we still have some time. All right, um, let's just go crush them. We'll send the free company to Negroponte. Main siege stack with the Janissaries are going to rush to Spalato. And uh, these two armies are going to be over here because this truce ends in 68 of May. So we're going to be fighting wars simultaneously. And we're going to reign in Syria as an Alit. All right. All right, there we go. The truce just ended. So time to declare. Um, probably win this. Ajam won't join, which is good. Yes. Uh, let's see. What do we need? We need to take one of these provinces to release Iraq. Took the wrong one in Mosul. So we need one of these. So let's declare this war. We'll go war goal of um, Raba. Or actually, we'll do the reconquest CB that they have. Yep, reconquest for the reduced AE. Once we can declare war, that is. All right, Bohemia, go beat up Venice for me. Thank you. We'll take Negroponte, Crete. I would really love to kill the Knights, but we'll have to do it when we attack Venice directly another time. Take Durazzo. Barrage here. Can we declare this war now? Yep, we can. Okay, again, we'll do... Reconquest war goal. Oh, 
Oh, that's where their army is. Okay. Cool. Oh my god. We have three stability, actually. Oh, this event would be so cool. Let's just get the admin power. Dang. Three stability event where you can't get stability. Imagine. Alright, we got Kosovo. So, let's go ahead and um, just straight up make this a state. Let's encourage development. Assign a Pasha and dev that up. Alright, we need that gold for the economy to manage all those uh, Merc stacks that we're probably going to need. Alright, we took here. They're gonna take Naxos for us, so let's crush Albania's navy. The biggest problem, I think, during this run is going to be getting to the United Kingdom and getting to London and getting in coring range for that quick enough. I think we can probably get, like, uh, Mamelux, Tunis, all of this, but... Hmm, dicey, dicey. Do they get more troops? Do they get mercs? No, doesn't look like it. Okay. Well, we can send uh, the Grand Company back this way to deal with them. Alright, we got that siege done. Alright, so Albania is fully occupied. Alright, let's keep going this way. Loans. Okay, Bohemia's got that for us. Nice. Capture ship. Oh, Ven Venice's navy showed up right on time. Oh, I did not see them. Alright, let's see if we can win. <laughs> we actually have more, um... What is it? Morale. We got a Decent roll. Alright. Ooh, 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 three ships captured. Nice. Okay. There goes Venice's navy. Okay. You go to Crete. Oh, there's the Venetian troops right there. I did not see them. Uh oh. Okay. Um what's happening over here? They moved away. Let's just start trying to siege some forts here so we can end that war soon and let's send you back this way. Oh, okay. Wait, can we win this in time? Yep, we won in time. Oh, okay. Oh, they're gonna go kill Bohemia. I see. Maybe we can <laughs> help reinforce that. No, I don't think so. Oh, god. No, Bohemia. Uh, No, yeah, we're not gonna make it. Ah, um, I wish the navy was in position so we could have trapped them there, though. That would have been nice to trap all 20k on that island. Okay, now we can move the navy. The Grand Company. Let's see, can we sue for peace? Probably not. We haven't taken a fort yet, but we just want like these two provinces or just this one, honestly. And they ran away. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Let's send the free company then back to Anatolia to help against Arda Kungulu. Iberian wedding happened? Nope. Okay. I think they just finished the civil war. That's what happened.
Oh, I think we're gonna catch them. Yes, we're gonna catch them. Oh, Splato only fell in 91 days. That's really good. That's really good RNG there. Alright, let's go to Istria. Oh, we gotta take the long route. Oh, we gotta take the long route. Oh, whoa, Venice just took stuff from Croatia. Okay, well, that's... That's not great. That's not great. with Croatia and Hungary's over. Oh my god, Noble Rebels, really? Bruh. That's unfortunate. Where did the Venetian army go? Oh, they went up there. Okay. Oh, they're getting a lot of troops. 56k. Did they get mercenaries? Yeah, they got the bands in there today. Okay. They got Merc. Oof. Hey, what's up, Drayton? Um, not the greatest in terms of RNG, so, but it's going. I mean, we still have a chances, it's just more of the Venetians are getting a lot of mercs, and we're kind of getting bad RNG when it comes to just um, people attacking who, etc. Yeah, Venice just... Got a bunch of mercenary units, which is not great. Wow, more mercenaries. I don't know if we're going to win this fight. don't think so, yeah. <laughs> At least we retreated out in time. Alright, the good news is, though, is I think we can peace out with... No, we can't. Oh my god. I thought we took the fort that we needed, but no. Okay, we have to kill these noble rebels. Venice Merc Goblin. Mercenary idea gamer right there. Alright, their 12k is gonna die here, hopefully. There we go. Back wipes, okay. Oh, I th okay, good Bohemia help in that fight. We can kill that other stack. Where are they going right here? Oh, they're separatists. Oh my god. Alright. Surely you guys want peace. Yep. Okay. Can we take... Alright, we're just going to take this one province. Hopefully we can release a rock from it. Gosh. Painful that I took the wrong province. That definitely derailed this run potentially. Uh, truce last until how long? 76. Okay. And oh yeah, we're gonna have to fight a Jean. <sighs> God, damn! I'm gonna have to dissolve that alliance with them now. Or I forget. It's really unfortunate, but oh well. Oh yeah, yeah. Typically, I play Feel Japan. Yeah, yeah. No, I I definitely want to cover more um EU4 on the channel, so that's why this uh this uh, stream is happening and um, actually we don't need to make that a core so yeah I really appreciate uh, thanks for the sub really appreciate it means a lot always love any support let's um, improve relations with Syria some more okay um, oh, we got the event again where we have gotten a stability for free okay so Venice is 35k now convert air to general now we'll just do claim strength. That's fine. He's a really good heir. Okay, now we need to move into Venice itself, Venice proper. And at this point, yeah, um, we need to fight the Mamluks again. We also need to fight Bosnia. So I think we're just going to declare this war to take Bosnia in the middle of this war. So let's just do that and fight Bosnia. 
me as well. No, you need to go into here, you need to go this way. Just go to Treviso. Let's naval barrage that. Military leader left. Which one left? No. Worst pop up. Um, one fighting the rebels? Yes. Okay, good. It wasn't a one sieging. Oh my god. Not bad. Siege pips could have been better, but not bad. Not bad indeed. I mean, it kind of helps that we have 77 army tradition, right? Oh my god, okay. Bohemian, or Serbia, I'll take that, I guess. More rebels, more rebels. Alright, Venice. How we looking? How we looking for a peace deal? Negropont, Naxos? What's she giving me? Nothing. Sheesh. Okay, well, I'm gonna take... Can I take this from this war? Probably, because it's not much of a coalition. But we're gonna probably have to true spray Venice at this rate, too, which really sucks. Um, ugh. Pain. 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 Okay, quick Bosnia. Yeah, let's. We need to move into. Guess we need to take Venice itself. So let's send the navy this way. All right, land on Venice. Right, let's undo the national focus for now as we need more diplo points because we need to finish our diplo ideas badly. Let's um <clears throat> let's barrage. Alright. So the Rome tag requires you to basically own the entire Mediterranean. Um so yeah, the Rome tag requires you to own very specific places. We need to own, like, this province right here with the pyramids, the capital of the Mamluks. We need to own, like, territory over here. We need to own London as well as York. We also need to own all of Spain, Portugal. Um, we need to own Tunis. We need to own Fez over here, <laughs> which Castile has. And then we also need to own, I think, Zeeland up here. And we need to own Vienna. Technically, like, to reform the true Roman Empire, you would need a lot more. But for this achievement, I think this is all the provinces required to form Rome. So, yeah. All right. Age ability. Let's just do leader siege. Going to be really nice to have. All right. Is Bosnia fully? Okay, we just need to take out Perugia. That's fine. We'll just march this way. All right, we took Corfu. Nice. Sixty-four percent. Come on. Uh, do we have a spy network? Let's build a spy network. Let's get diplo idea. The second diplo idea. Okay, we took Venice itself. That's good. So let's see what peace deal we can get from the Venetian. Dang. Still no. Current peace off. Length of war demands exceed war score. Uh, problem with fighting Venice in this game. Ugh. Decadence? What's that? Decadence? Nah, that's not a thing. Decadence isn't a thing. 
Any piece out with Perugia, white piece? Nope. Grant aid. Um, ah, no, 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 no. I know we lose the admin power, but we got so many of those earlier admin power events. All right, let's promote Serbia to an Alit. Now we no longer have vassals, but that's all right. We're going to release a rock. Okay, click there. On uh, the Viso. Oh, we didn't even barrage it. Okay, let's barrage it. All right. Surely now you want this peace deal. Yep. Okay. So. How long is this truce? 1486. Yeah, we're just going to have to truce break Venice at this point, I think. Really unfortunate. Um, but we're going to have to. This is going to be something we do. I didn't break their alliance with Aragon. Oof. That's fine. We need to fight Aragon anyways. <laughs> uh, pain. Alright. Albania's ours. Probably should have broken their alliance with Aragon. Oof, that's right though. Um, we're just gonna have to truce break them anyways, so like we're just gonna get a ton of AE, I think. Um, so our truce with Hungary ended, so we'll declare war for reconquest against Hungary next, and looks like we'll fight Milan if we do that. We'll white piece Milan in that case, and we need to declare war on Naples soon too. Which... What the heck? Is Naples under a personal union of France? You're kidding, right? When did that happen? Oh my god. Oh, that's uh, that's a yikes. That's a really bad... <laughs> oh god. That's really devastating. Um, oof, okay, well... That might... Uh, that might really derail the run, actually. That might really derail it. Alright, well, let's uh, get these troops back and fight the Hungarians. We just need these two provinces here, and uh, we also should just fight Croatia now, I guess. And let's go ahead and declare on a... Uh, what's the use? Oh, they're in the HRE. Okay, we'll, we'll fight Austria here in a second, I guess. Alright, time to, time to witness um, true pain. Soon. I foresee a lot of truce breaks. Yep. Nope. Did it. There's going to be a lot. There's going to be a lot. It's going to be very rough. We're going to uh, pay more for a Diplo Advisor. In that case, too. Um, as uh, this run is um, very much not uh, good right now. Oh my god, that's a really good trait for them. Okay. Um, so yeah, we need to fight you or Ajam next. Well, actually, well, Ajam... Okay, Ajam's going to win this war. Regardless, we need to re release a rock and conquer all those territories there. Need to fight the Mamluks, which we can do in, um, let's see. When's this true send? 78? Okay, six years. Alright, I think at this point we're just not going to be at peace until the end of the game. Alright, let's declare on Hungary. Fall in Bohemia, we'll promise them land. We can give them land. I don't need anything from Hungary itself, right? Um, on Serbia, Milan and Trent, who cares? Who cares? It's not going to matter. Let's just rush for, um, Est. And take the two provinces that we need here. Can't wait to see that decadence f fly up. Just go through the roof sky high, you know? Maybe I'll just make Ver Perugia a vassal. I wonder how much, um... AE that'll cost to make them a vassal just so I can just start feeding them things or something. Do they have claims on anywhere else? I wonder. Oh, clone and everything got in the way of good looking. Alright, we got unconditional surrender there. They have some claims. Maybe I'll just start feeding them stuff. I don't know. We'll get desperate. Uh pain. No, 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 no. Let's just lose the stability or the legitimacy and let's boost it. Okay. 
All right, we took Perugia. Let's do. Oh, we don't want to do that. Two for peace. Okay, let's just do Ottoman Vassal. Only seven aggressive expansion for that. Shoot, who cares? I'm gonna do that. There we go. We got a Vassal in Perugia. We'll just feed them territory. No. Well, actually, but that's well. I mean, we just need Vienna, I guess. I just don't. Ugh, Austria, bastard. Of course, they took advantage of me going to war with Hungary. Of course, of course, of course, of course. All right, now we can peace out uh, Bosnia. Do for peace. Let's go ahead and just make them a vassal as well. It's not a lot of aggressive expansion. We avoid coalitions, I think, because. Venice can't join one, Mamluks can't join one, and Hungary can't join one, which is fine, and we'll just, um, I mean, if we took it all, how much aggressive expansion would that be, though? We can't even take it all, actually, because I'm trying to make them a vassal at the same time. If we took it all, how much aggressive expansion? 22? Hmm. Hmm. Um, I think I'll just make them, well, actually, let's just see if they have any, re uh, if they're worthy yeah, I think we'll just. I want to save the admin power though, so I'm going to make them a um. I'm going to make them a vassal. And uh, we'll just make them a core aelet. In due time, we'll rein them in. Rein them in. So uh, yeah, the AE though is going to be a problem. The AE is going to be a problem. All right, let's pay off the debt. Okay. Pain, 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 pain. Here's the separatism where, where, where? Oh, uh, Crete, and then we need to go to, uh, Cyprus. Oh god, I just remembered that. Oh, oh my god, I forgot about this territory here. Um, we get another Merc company, I wonder. No. Let's just, um, we'll win this war here relatively easily, I think. So, let's just go siege that. Um, we'll send the free company over there eventually. Yeah, this is going to be a true spray, like, un ungodly amount. Let's, can we just take these two provinces? Can you return them to uh, Serbia? You will. Okay. That's all we need to take from them for this war. So that's actually really quick because we don't need to take anything else from the Hungarians. So there we go. Gave those to Serbia. That frees up all our troops here. And now what we need to do is, um, let's see, mm, would Bohemia join? No, they would not. They're allied to Aragon. Uh, what tech are they? Six? We're tech six. They're tech five. I don't have that many troops. Austria has a sh ton. Um, hmm. Well, we do need to be at peace to release a rock, which this truce ends in 76, so four years. Truce with Mamluks ends in six years, too. Okay, so we need. Uh, ah, we got the true Sprague Venice. Oh, we're gonna have the true Sprague Venice so many times. And same with France, because they have Naples. Like, oh god. And what is the Palatinate not really? They got, they got, <laughs> they got the event to, with the horse, I think. Or, yeah, I think they got the event with the horse, but they released all the others in the HRE. Okay. Maybe dismantle HRE's the strat. That will take too long, probably. So we need to fight Mamluks, we need to fight Tunis, we need to fight Castile, which if Castile gets Aragon as a junior partner, that'll make fighting Austria easier, but make fighting Castile harder. So if we, oh god, oh god, this is even possible anymore. <laughs> EU4 just brings out, you know, the best in you. Always it brings out the best in you. Because um, not only do we have to fight Silly or Chili, we need to also take Vienna. <laughs> Which, um, yeah, if we fight Austria now, right, we'd have to white piece them in this war with um, Silly. So, 
Mm -hmm. And then we do need to take, I think, everything in Italy. So that means we don't need to take, like, we don't actually need to take Venice's province, like, here in South Germany. We just need the Balkan ones here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we just need, uh, oh, we just need these two provinces from Chile, but we also need a way to core Vienna. So I guess we have to take this from Austria. So, hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Well, we have to deal with the rebels, I guess, for now. But let's just peace out with this war right here. There we go. Siege is over. So now we can sue for peace. Yoink. All right. Now we need to alliance breaking with who? Bohemia? Oh, I forgot to give them territory in this war, didn't I? Okay, we need to trade favors with trust really quickly. I want that alliance. Trade favors for trust. All right, there we go. That should fix the trust issues. Yep, did. Okay, we completed a mission though too. Push into the north. We get um, Ottoman campaigns of conquest on Hungary and Wallachia, which we're not going to use, but uh, if we weren't going for the achievement, then yeah, we would use them. <laughs> but at least that gives us some more claims here. So now we have claims on all of this area. Um, maybe we should have taken more from Hungary. Not really sure. We'll have alliance breaking with Bohemia, but that'll go away. Um, now we need to release... Where are they? Please. Rock. Yes, four provinces. All provinces must be unoccupied. Bitless. Uh, okay. Well, let's uh, send this army down here to unoccupy those places. Okay, and then you need to go kill rebels in Cyprus. Let's reduce that. Oh, that's probably where all my diplo power is going. It's reducing war exhaustion. Ugh. Uh, pain. I need to promote them to an A-lit at some point. Alright, defeat the rebels there. Okay, so what's the next course of action? We need to wait for this truce with the Mamelukes. 1478. We need to wait for this truce. So we probably should just fight the Austrians now. And fight the HRE. That's probably our best bet. And when does our truce with Venice end? 146, yeah. Oh, I know what we can do to reset the truce with Venice. What am I thinking? We just have to fight the knights. Duh. All right. That's how we reset the truce with Venice. Of course. Of course. Why did I forget we could just fight the knights? Why did I forget? Okay. This will reset the truce with Venice. So that'll be good because we can white piece the Venetians, make them break their alliance with Aragon, more importantly. So let's go ahead and fight the knights because they've been raiding my coast the entire game. So... Why not? Right, let's get this army here and let's recall this diplomat. All right, player war, all in Serbia. There we go, the knight's navy is about to be gone. And we're now at war with Venice, yes? No? Did they not join? Wow. I thought they would join. I thought they would join. That's unbelievable. Maybe not. I guess I guess Trade League you can refuse, right? Ah, uh, that sucks. I thought they would join. More rebels, more rebels. Okay. Uh, well, since oh no, Venice did join. I see Venetian. Okay, good. They did join. Oof. Okay. I was worried for a second. All right, let's send you over here to deal with some rebellious places. Here, you two will do the sieging over here. Yep, 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 yep. Rebels, rebels, rebels. Okay. Need to get the free company off. Uh, Crete. Not Crete. 
Cyprus. Got the British vassal, it's in good relations with them. Got that. Let's go ahead and barrage this before we forget. And then let's move this army off to help fight more rebels. Just stay there and not occupy it before I forget. Excellent move towards legalism. Even more. Now we can do the interaction, which we can debase currency really quickly. And now we can use this and it's some free money is very helpful. Again, we only have 11 loans still, which is good. Let's repay that bank loan. Okay. All right, move this way. Oh, there's a fort here, okay. Yeah, that's fine if they... Alright, one there. Good. Alright, I'll leave them in roads. Let's go this way. Oh, we can summon the diet? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Guess let's do the base manpower one. He just plateaus over. Okay. Let's um recall this diplomat here. Okay, we have a free diplomat. So with Venice, we need to remember to break their alliance with Aragon only. That's it. The only thing we're going to do with them, it sets the truce for six years. So kind of a truce reset, kind of. Okay, Jam didn't really take too much. They actually lost, which is good for us. <laughs> um, because, yeah, that's really good, actually. So. Yeah, that's really good. Which is low on manpower. Free company? Alright, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, free company. Alright, we caught Venice's army here. Are we gonna win that? No, I don't think so. These are the Janissaries too, so let's retreat. We have manpower now, plenty, so not a problem. Alright, we'll have to get another mercenary stack here pretty soon. We took roads, which is good. Let's have the fleets um, transport them back this way. And if we take this fort, we can peace out with the Venetians, although I'm, I'm dubious. Very dubious. Nope. Oh my gosh, we need to take one more fort, I think. Where are you going, Venice? Where are you going? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. We can get Admin Tech 7. Nice. Alright, we're not going to go. <laughs> we're going to go with administrative ideas for our second idea group. We want to get the uh, core creation cost, which honestly will be very useful. Um, so we're just going to start paying a little bit more for these advisors again. Money is going to be a problem the rest of the game, probably. So, yeah. We'll see how, how much longer the loans permit us to go. 
I think for now though we'll keep not having a mercenary company right now. Um, please accept. No, very close. Okay, maybe if the fleet is uh, blockading that might give us enough war score. Maybe. It should. I'm confident. Yep, there we go. That's enough. Okay, so we're just breaking their, tr their alliance with Aragon. I mean, they, they could get it back, I guess. They could. But hopefully by then the Iberian uh, event happens. The Iberian wedding. Wedding, yeah. I mean, I would like to take more territory from them, but we'll just have to truce break them in the final 20 years. So let's send this demand. Constance and Salzburg. Okay. Are they all? Oh, they're all. They're all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all. Whatever. Ex um, exiled. Okay. When is this? When is it? When? Fourteen seventy-eight. When seventy-six. Okay. So that's next. We'll prepare for fighting somewhat. Surely you'll peace out? No. Of course not. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? I've tried. Destroy your army. No, no, no. Of course. We're going to reign in Serbia. Right now they're a core Aeolit. That's good. Let's go ahead and build a spy network here. Let's build a spy network in um, Austria, why not? Oh my god, they're over there. Ah, I really wish I didn't have to siege down these uh, HRE miners, but oh well. Truce with Genoa's over. Alright, we can get another advisor. Actually, we can't. We need, we need another loan. 12 loans. Morale of armies. Government reform. We can go with the provincial government system, which is good. Give some bonuses to the Pashas. Where are you going? It didn't even backwipe. My god. Does Rhodes want to sue for peace? No. The knights remain defiant. Well, at least we're at 49% here. Come on, just take it. Dang. Alright. What about now? 
No. All right. Well, it's fine. We can um peace out on stance. We finally got the unconditionally surrender. That's good. All right, four reps from them. Hey, knights are vanquished. Disposing of the knightly scourge. Lovely. <clears throat> yeah, non-challenge Ottoman game. Yeah, definitely. That makes sense. It's uh. Again, some bad RNG dictated some things, so I would have liked faster time, but happens. Okay, so now what we need to do is declare war on Chile and the HRE, which they're allied to Poland. Hmm. When do they get an alliance with Poland? Or is Poland guaranteeing them? They're just allied to only Poland. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I guess then maybe I'll have to fight Hungary and we'll have to take, uh, we'll have to just wait for that truce with Hungary to end. In, uh, 79 and take, uh, provinces this way, because I'm obviously not going to fight, uh, Poland and Lithuania. For that, that would be, um, pretty monumental, and it would take a lot of time just for, um, that. Yeah, they have pretty low low loyalty. So we'll wait for that to go up before we seize land. Let's see if we can lower autonomy. Yeah, we can. All good. <clears throat> okay. Um, let's just go ahead and repay this estate loan for now. I think we only have one, two, quite a lot of estate loans actually. How many loans can we get? Forty-one. Now that we're finally at peace, though, we can um go ahead and release. Where are they? Iraq. We get four provinces. And we can once again get the, um, where is it? Strong duchies. We're also going to get the Omer and the Officer Corps to get that, um, army tradition decay lowered. So that's our final there. Now that we're at, we're going to lose less army tradition yearly. Now we have the Diplo relations for the vassals that we do have, which is good. <clears throat> now we. We'll wait for this truce to end here in 76. We'll wait for this one to end in 78. Also delete the fort and roads. Um, and yeah, we need to fight Hungary and Venice again, which Venice is now allied to Castile. <laughs> uh, dang. Pain. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, unlucky, but we'll probably have to fight that war then. So yeah, we'll deal with the Mameluks and uh, Akhunyulu next. So let's move all our troops over there, and then we'll just wait for our truce with Hungary to be over in 79, and we'll fight uh, the HRE. Okay, Use money to increase stability, government reform. Let's just get ducats. <clears throat> Let's just rival Castile at this point. No, Mehmet died. How sad. Let's just 
pay the Janissary things, and we'll get uh, this. Now we get the core creation cost and max promoted cultures, which is good. That first idea. It sucks though that we have the morale of armies lowered, but that's right. I think we have decent morale still. We have a lot of disciplines, which I think we have 105. Uh, we had so much with Mehmet, so it's really unfortunate he passed. Okay, we need to get another alliance, probably. Um, we go with Timmy. Um, I don't know if the Timbrids would really help us. Denmark might, though. Who is Denmark rival to? Austria. Maybe Denmark will help us in that war against the Austrians. Let's see. <coughs> Let's go ahead and adopt these titles and religious unity and stuff once again. Yearly legitimacy, tolerance, true faith. Let's just do tax. I'm just waiting on a few truces. Um, hmm. <clears throat> okay. I think we can declare war on... Wait, where do they have claims on? Do they have a claim on Siena? They do, but Siena's in the HRE. Where do they have claims on? Venice or Siena. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's go ahead and just make these places province of interest, so that way um, they hopefully start fabricating some claims here. But what I think we need to do is we need to go after probably Savoie. Or we need to go after Genoa again. Can we fabricate a claim on them? Do we have a neighboring province with them? I don't think Corsica is considered neighboring. Let's try it with Florence. Let's build spy network against Florence. Okay. These government interactions. Uh, let's just do this one. We'll s not do the other two. Or actually, we'll do the core creation cost as well. That's going to be helpful. Here's the Serbia is over, right? Hmm. Unfortunate indeed. Trade favors for trust. We can't get yet. Yeah, they don't like it enough. actually just give Serbia these provinces or do they have claims on them who has claims Bosnia considers it claim okay whatever when is this June 76th okay so very soon all right there we go Time to declare war on Arda Kunyulu. This should be an easy war. We'll call Crimea in. Why not? Let's do reconquest of um, Baghdad and declare.
So let's go for this fort down here. Alright, got that siege pretty quickly. For Tabriz, actually, or Tabriz. All right, Mamluks ends in 1478. All right, need to get ready for that. Nine percent worst core. That's because of uh, Crimea's territory being occupied, probably. All right, we got that province too. Okay, so let's start transferring cores to Iraq. I guess we'll take these ones right here. A war if we can. Not sure. <clears throat> Peter died. Alright, we took that province, which had a fort. We gotta go to um, Shirvan. Let's just see what the, um, what we can take in a peace deal. Okay. Can't make that a core. Why can't we make this before we too far away? Huh. Okay, I guess we'll just have the truce break them too. But we would have the war score for it if need. Let me just double check and see what provinces we need to own here as well to verify. Okay, I don't think we need this province here actually. In fact, we only need like down to here to Basra, so we don't even need that province, which is 
good. We technically don't need that one. We just need... No, we do need this one. We need these two here. We don't need to return this other core. Which one is it? Uh, this one. We don't need to return that core. Okay. We need just these provinces, which we can peace out for now. So we'll do that. And that'll be a quick war. That's nice. Won that war very steadily. And then we just... Um... Release some... Um, Basra. And then what we'll do is we'll truce break Arakungulu now. Take that territory. And then we'll fight Ajam. And then what we'll do is we'll fight the Mamelukes. And then it doesn't really matter about aggressive expansion. I don't care if the, the Timurids get into a coalition against us. It really doesn't matter. Not, not really worried. Okay, we can send these demands. I mean, do we need to truce break them, though? Let's see how long the truce lasts until... 1488. Maybe we don't. We'll see. There we go. Now we're at peace. Let's go ahead and... Release... Basra. Okay. Now we just need to promote them to an Aelit. And our truce with the Mamluks ends 78, so... Let's get ready to fight them. No royal marriages right now. Not yet. Not until we're desperate. Okay, let's promote you to an Aelit. And then we can rein them in. And what we need to do is then promote them to an Aelit. Actually, no, we don't need to do Aelit yet. We'll do that after we uh, take that territory from them. Okay, so we just need to take these provinces down here. So let's see, what happens if we truce break our rest of expansion with... I mean, Venice, Bamluks, Ajam, yeah, I mean, who cares, let's just, let's just do it. Just re reconquer right now, they're weak. Then we'll just fight Ajam, and then Ajam can't join a coalition against us, so let's just do that. And we're going to lose um, stability, but that's alright. We got a really good leader. That's some rebels over there, though. Let's um, let's get this first admin idea, at least. No, I know we might lose stability. But, um, how are we doing on loan? 12 loan. Let's get a few more here. Okay, we need to get mercenaries. Can we get... Let's see. Let's just go with these 12k for now. We'll disband them. We just need them for a little brief period. Fighting the Mamelukes, and then after that we can assess the situation. Alright, let's go ahead and declare war. We'll do reconquest here. Yeah, five stability. Oof. Alright. Pain, but have to do it. Because we need to we need to fight a Jam next. We just need one province from them, so it isn't a very long war. Pain. What's stability anyways? He needs stability, right? Let's 
Let's give this to Basra. Who can we promote to Aelid again? Oh yeah, we don't want to do that just yet. But we do want to rein in this Aelid. There we go. Where do you have claims on now? Good. Good, they have a claim on Florence. Okay, we're going to take advantage of that soon. Then. But first, we probably have to fight the HRE. Let's see, can we sue for peace? So what do we need? Only 61? Okay. time all right Poland Austria declared war on Valachia, oh god. I don't think we need the Grand Company now. I'm going to get a different mercenary company. Just so we're not taking as much, um, not losing as much money being so over force limit. Then let's go with, um, the Seek Bond again. And that'll help. We're now with, uh, money wise. Alright, Mamluk's truce ended. So we do need to fight them next. Which, um, hmm. Yeah, we'll have the tech advantage, I think. They're actually going to fight us here. That's... We'll cut off the reinforcement. We made in time. Oof. All right. Let's see if we can now. Let's see if now we can piece them out. Still no. All right. Once we take this fort here, then the military tech seven. Let's boost stability. Truce with Hungary ended. Okay. Can you please just take this fort. What the heck? Take it. Fifty-seven percent. Finally, God. All right. Just one province from you, that's all I want. And then you're gonna give me war reps and all your ducats. There we go. Alright, that'll help us with some loans to pay off. Mainly with the estates. Alright. How many estate loans do we have? One, two. Okay. Hmm. 
Interest? Yeah, it's interest. Okay. Oh, right, I need to pay them off. <laughs> okay. All right. Now let's pay off a lot of these bank loans that we have. Okay, that should help a little bit, I guess. Alright, we also need to pay off crown lands after, or we need to sell titles. Okay, click there. Alright, now we can seize land and sell titles again. there we go that paid off a lot of them so now we're not really losing as much because of the uh, interest is down which is good we boost stability again which is also good all right now it's time to fight the mamluks and then we'll fight ajam and then we'll fight uh hre and tunis at the same time probably and hopefully by then we have about i don't know uh, 15 years to go, at which point we just need to fight all of Italy and France and Spain and <laughs> stuff. So it's going to be, um, yeah, this is going to be rough, rough going. All right, we'll use, um, we'll do Ottoman, do we want to do Ottoman invasion? Uh, I think we do need to do Ottoman invasion because we need to own all of Syria, so... Yeah, Najam's pretty weak. Just kidding, they're not. They just have, like, so much truce with so little territory. We could do the reconquest, probably. Okay. Um, and Austria is going to be a problem. But Denmark and Bohemia would help us to even that fight, so... That will... Well... They would if we attacked Austria directly, I guess, but they probably wouldn't if we attacked Hungary. Bohemia would. That's maybe winnable. Maybe. We have to probably get a lot of mercenaries for that one. Okay, let's go ahead and fight the Mamluks. We're going to do the Ottoman invasion. We just need 90% war score and to hold their capital for a lengthy period of time. Three years. While we're doing that, once we like stabilize the Mamluk situation, we can fight um, Ajam. We need to hurry and occupy their capital. We need to get 90% war score. Of course, rebels. Of course, of course, of course. When can we get the free company again? 83? Okay. Let's just increase autonomy. 33 days for that siege, nice. Are they at war with somebody else? No, okay, they're just not. Okay, they're over there, I see. That's fine.
Alright, um, we need to give out another privilege to the Janissaries. I think I want to give out the stability cost modifier now with the yearly corruption. That'll help. Um, we definitely want to not suffer as much to pay for some stability boost. Oh, let's just get autonomy. Sucks, but... Are right, we get another idea. Alright, we get another diplomat. Nice. That's good. Because we do need to... Improve relations with people. We also need to promote you to an Aelit. Now we just have to wait for this to be sieged. No, Ajam. No, no, no. We have to fight you. Boost the stability again. That event sucks. Navy tradition, all right. We can complete a mission. Let's see Crimean Destiny, all right. Here's the Venice is over. Okay. Nearing the home stretch. All right, here we go. So we got the collapse of the Mameluke Sultanate. So we could do this if we wanted to. Event. But I think we'll just do this. This uh, So we have to hold it for three years. We have to hold their capital. And um, we get the Aelid of Egypt immediately. And we just need 90% war score. So that's what we're going to do. So we need to hurry and get 90% war score. And try to find those troops and crush them. But... We defeated that army there. We just need to rush down this way. And we'll probably get the free company again soon. Also build a spy network here. Oh, we can start our golden era. That'll help. Should have done that a little bit sooner. Lost an admiral. Right as he was fighting too. That's great.
Ah, dang it. And looks are here. There you go. We caught one of their armies. Not that event again. Ugh. There's a stack wipe. Oh gosh, more revolts. Hmm. All right, I think we'll win that battle. In time before anybody helps. Yep, we actually got a stack wipe too. That's really nice. I'll go deal with those rebels over there. All right, we need 90% war score though. If we're gonna win that battle there. Oh, we might actually. They didn't reinforce. Okay, we can get uh, this Diplo one. Nice. And we can get another Splendor ability. We're going to go with um, this option, Transfer Subject, and uh, Claims Bordering Claims, because what we're going to do is try to get a claim on just Vienna alone to fight Austria. Uh, or at least try to get, like, I don't know, something. This war is going to be really tough, though. But... Okay. Yeah, we'll just have to get mercenaries for that war, I think. But we'll fight that war after we fight Ajam really briefly, I think, too. Alright, we got that siege done. Oh, there's rebels in Cyprus. Ah, oh, I didn't even notice. Alright, let's go crush them then. Alright, if we sue for peace here, we can get more reps and ducats. Oh, they're a vassal to the camps. Okay. So they're allied to... Okay, okay, okay. I see, I see. We need to go down here. Through the desert. Ah, oh, damn. Went this way. It's fine though, we really just need the forts. All 
Alright, got rid of the rebels there. Let's uh, head back this way. Alright, we have an option for another error. So let's see, we have 353, 533. Um, let's go with 533 for the admin. I mean, probably won't be. I mean, we'll see. Let's do, uh, let's see. Hmm. We'll go with Bayezid. Bayezid. The uh, Sultan who is captured by, uh, Timur. Timur. Yeah, at the Battle of Ankara. In 1404, I believe, yeah. Around then. Oh, that's a lot of Mamluks. Uh, maybe we'll win it? I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna win, alright. That's good. Alright, we're at 84%, so we're pretty close. I think we can get Yemen out of the war. If we had a diplomat available. Alright, let's see if we can get our next to have an idea. Nice. Alright, we'll get war reparations and all their ducats. Alright, so we're at 86. Think we can get the free company again? Yeah, we can. All right, let's get the free company. This will lose admin power. That sucks. A six shock leader. Be very good to have. Alright, we have 90% war score now. So hopefully that event fires soon. Let's get ready to fight Ajam. Hey, okay, right there. Not going to accept a peace offer with the Mamluks. Nope. Okay, let's fight Ajam. Uh, we can hopefully win this really quickly. Reconquest of Basra, just one province we need. So let's just siege like their capital or something and win quickly. Mamluks have no troops left, so this shouldn't be a problem. No royal marriages. Right, you're back this way. Ooh, unjustified demands and aggressive expansion impact. That's really good. That's really good. Uh, let's just reduce that war exhaustion for now. What, war? <laughs> war? No way. Ooh, army tradition, nice. Nice. I mean, maybe the navy tradition actually would have been better. We're at 100 army tradition, so I should have checked that. <laughs> maybe that was a bad decision, actually. The navy tradition might have been better. Where are you? Oh, why did you go that way? Oh, there's the Joms army right there. Maybe we'll win that battle. We probably have higher military tech. <gasps> Here we go. Fall of the Mameluk Sultanate. All right. So... With this event, we can uh, make peace with the Mamluks, remove them as a historical rival, and then um, we'll make Egypt a core Aelid. So let's go ahead and do that. Lovely. And there we go. Look at that. Now if we look at the map mode. Boom. Doubled in size. That makes things a lot easier. We'll also just go ahead and eight local rulers a little bit. We have all the prestige in the world to do that, so that's fine. And we'll enable support loyalist. We'll get the prestige back. It's alright. Okay, with that, 
Once we get Basra, the Eastern Empire will be secure, and we can go ahead and do Subjugate Egypt, which means we get some bonuses, and we also get the Deserts of Arabia. We get permanent claim on Arabia. But now what we can do is we can declare war on Tunis, who is at war with uh, Castile. So we'll do uh, Ottoman Conquest into Tunis now. So what we need to do is just get 60, you think, war score against Tunis. So we'll send some armies over that way. And we need to continue this war against the Jam. Which hopefully we can take that capital really quickly. And let's go ahead and send you this way. We just need to rush for, uh, I think, this fort here. Maybe if we do this, it'll put us in a defensive war against uh, Castile, which will actually be really good. I won that battle. The siege is over. All right, let's do... With the Jam, we sue for peace. Um, return core to Basra. Yep. Take all their money again. War reparations? No, we can't do war reparations. Let's just do less ducats then right up front. We get war reps. Perfect. Alright, there we go. Boss are secure. Alright, now we can promote them to an A-lit and then rein them in. And they'll be set up. So everything in the east is taken except for... Oh yeah, that's everything. Okay, so... Well, I mean, aside from the Balkans, I guess. Now we can do the Cradle of Civilization mission, so we get tech cost, idea cost for 30 years. Very nice. Also going to choose that scholar. And we can probably do expansion of the Zealot Tree now, I think. I think. Because we're not fighting anybody else of the Sunni faith, but, um... Tunis and... Well... Castile owns, uh, where we need to go over there, so... Yeah, let's, um... Let's throw an expansion of Zealot Tree, I think. Unless we need to do something else with the clergy. <sighs> hmm... Yeah, let's do expansion of the tree. Get that extra morale against uh, all the Catholics. All right, need to get all our troops back this way. No, Castile is getting there first. Ugh. Okay, three diplomats. Let's go ahead and let's promote you to an Alit, and we can rein them in soon. Okay. Oh, good. They have a reconquest for me. All right, we're gonna fight Venice then, and we're gonna fight the Emperor. After we fight Tunis, and then we have to fight everybody in Italy, just boom, 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 go, go, go. Fight Castile and Aragon and Portugal, and then we have to just fight France quite a lot of times. A lot of truce breaks are going to be happening, so this is going to be a mad dash. God. That's annoying.
that we gotta deal with that. Oh my god, Portugal got there before us. Ah, shoot. That's annoying. That's really annoying. Tunis owns Malta. I, that's crazy. How did they get Malta? They got Malta from Aragon? Maybe they took it from Naples? Okay, we can get flexible negotiation for that province war score cost. Reduction of 20%. That'll be very helpful. to make them yeah we need to rein them in there we go okay now what we need to do is we need to fight this this behemoth right here oh we have conquests against them we actually have conquest goals against them where are they though oh they're over here i see so yeah we should be okay perfect denmark will help us oh that makes things much better that makes it actually doable we actually fight Aragon, so it looks like Castile didn't get the um, Iberian Union, which is good. So Castile is not as strong as it appears. They might get it, though. Are we going to lose this fight? Don't tell me. No. We lost. Oh my god. What? Unlucky. Really unlucky. Guess it's your turn. Thought we would win. I mean, we have uh, Tunis's tech six. We're tech seven, but we lost. Is that crossing penalties just godly? Too godly. All right, let's uh, cancel that. Okay, there we go, we won that. Now we just need to wait for Castile to peace out with them. Okay. Alright, let's go this way. So who is Venice allied to? Castile, right, okay. We'll wait on that war. Let's take Vienna now. Right, Austria. It's time. Let's go ahead. 100k versus... Alright, so even numbers. Aragon's in the war. Alright. Should be interesting. Alright, so we're just gonna make a little snake there. Alright, time to get some... Uh... Loans. Especially for this war. Alright, let's get the uh, Grand Company.
Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright. Alright, they'll focus on Bohemia probably. Treasure died. Let's just get the uh I really would love the stab cost modifier, but we'll go with prestige for now, I guess. Who's all in this war? We got just Denmark. Okay, that's not. They don't have a. We don't know why. All right, can they peace out with? Okay, they did finally. All right, good. They didn't take Tunis, so that means we can still take the Tunis. Actually, we should just go for Tunis straight. All right, now we'll take the war first. All right, took that. Get another idea. Core creation costs. Perfect. Get the calf combat ability as well. Okay. Yeah, okay. Problem is we really don't have much in Italy is the issue, but we'll just have to fight our way over here to Fez, maybe. Mm. We are at war with Aragon. Gosh, okay. Oh, why don't we just take Selly's provinces? I think they're in the war and we need to own the Balkans, so we'll just take these two during this war as well. Rest of expansion is going to be a number from here on out, I think. Let's try tech eight. We're just gonna go way ahead. Siege of Vienna is over. All right. There we go. Alright, what's the peace deal that we want? I think we want, like... Well, we want these two provinces from you. It's not a lot of aggressive expansion. And from you, we want... We can't take... Why can't we take... There we go. Yeah, actually not the better coalition, either. Okay. Not that bad of a coalition either. Whether we get the war score quick enough though is another thing. Entirely. There they all go. Bye. Alright, how many loans can we take? 57, we have 5, how many loans we have? 14? Alright, we're gonna take a few loans here and just 
We just gotta get, get uh, the ball rolling in terms of truce breaking people and declaring wars. Very no expenses indeed. All right, perfect. We get this bonus. I don't know where the Austrians ran off to. That's right, though. take this fort painful without the cannons all right good we can take these two provinces that we need there we go all we need now is the venetian balkans away from that. Need to take this fort here. fight them here. I don't know what their tech is. Seven, so we're a tech ahead and we're Anatolian tech group, so let's see. More morale and more discipline. Yeah, we're gonna win. It's gonna be costly victory though. Ah, uh, Denmark. Okay, well maybe when Denmark pieces out. Okay, good. We took here. Now we just need to take Tunis, which I can barrage with the uh, ship. Oh shoot, Grand Aragon's troops. Hey Denmark will just peace out. I don't know. Wish they would because we probably would have the war score needed. Though we're getting pretty close. I guess we have to go up to fucking Denmark. Uh 
Ayun. Let's save our admin points. We're gonna need them. No, 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 no. See what I mean? Need those admin points, right? Oh, we're so close. We just need one more uh, fort. Okay, we took Tunis. All right, let's go ahead and um, do for peace then. Let's do establish a lit. 40 AE, that's right. Take all their ducats. Um, yeah, that'll be good. There you go. Tunis is now an A-Lit. Alright. Get off dead. Let's get Diplotech 6. Okay, so. Uh, <laughs> 13 years left. Ah, shoot. Okay. All right, we gotta go. For, gotta go. How many loans do we have? Nineteen. I'm about to fifty-nine. Okay, let's get some more mercs. Get some more mercs. Gonna go with Zybek next, and the um, yeah, we'll do Zybek now. No, no, no. Where's the fleet? We need to stay there to fight these rebels. So close, so close. Gotta go to that fort over there. Need to be ready to fight uh, Venice really quickly. How do we lose more war score? Denmark, probably. Yeah. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have called them in. I don't know. I think we just have to declare war on Venice now. We'll fight Castillo, but it's alright. Let's get some more mercenaries. Only 19 loans, plenty, plenty of money left. Are you exiled?
Morale of armies. Ooh, 10 for um, only mercenaries. Now we'll just do everybody. All glory dust, deploy rep. Nice. Hey, do we have the war score? No. Dang. Oh, no, no, you need to get the ships over here. Right, let's start going this way against Castile. You need to take this fort here. I'm so close. You need to take this fort. Who pieced out Denmark? All right, we have enough war score. Surely now. Surely. Yes, we do. Hey. Give me all your money. There you go. We got Vienna. Gateway to Europe is open. Yes, we get some ducats. Devastation. We get war score versus other religions and morale of armies 10%. Nice. Oof. Okay. Hey. Lovely event there. Very powerful indeed. Let me get on the ship. Are you just stuck in land shit? Why can't you move? Oh, Salzburg's port? Okay. Alright, what we need to do is just take Fez from Castile somehow. I should have saved those admin points to be honest. Oh well, force of habit. Get the Morlock. Why not? Oh, okay, they're going that way. Right, there we go, we landed there just in time. Alright, we need to send the fleet to uh, Venice here. We can call in Bohemia. Let's do that.
We're gonna start assaulting for it. Alright, there we go. Hmm. Idea cost. Do that. Salt here too. And Venice itself. two ships, right? Okay. Gotta get that port here. Let's just go ahead and sue for peace here. We're just gonna truce break them. We're gonna probably get a big coalition, but oh well. Right, actually, where's the place in the Balkan? So, um, just Balkan's territory, right? Okay. There we go. All of that. I'm going to make them break their alliance with this deal. Take all their money. All right. Go. our troops back same Perugia I guess you too hey okay. sure why not Tim Rids won't be of any help to me really but why not Alright, coalition's starting to form. <laughs> yep, 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 okay. Oh! Alright, can you lose in a coalition against us? That's interesting. <laughs> Look at that, not much, not much coring to do, right? Okay, we need to get them back here. Go ahead, everybody join the coalition. Oh, Pope joins? Alright, perfect. We'll just get them all up. Alright. We win against the rebels already, please. Thank you. Okay. Alright, round two, Venice. Breaking truce. Ah, who cares? these troops over here. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty big coalition, right? <laughs> yeah, that's uh that's quite big. Alright, let's uh declare war on um Castile before they get any ideas. They're allied to France, of course. Why would they not be, right? Maybe Aragon then? <laughs> uh is Austria still relatively weak? Yeah let's fight Aragon then. Alright. Uh, rest expansions this number at this point, right? Hey, let's do. Hmm. Gosh. Yeah, not likely going to complete the run. Um, we'll have to probably fight like so many coalitions wars and stuff. So it's like a little bit too long, especially um over here in the eastern area. I need to get a little better RNG or just be quicker about it. So um, that's a bit unfortunate, but um. Oh well, happens, so 
Yeah, let's, um... Hmm. Yeah, Aragon's likely going to be the best target, I think. We can hopefully take these islands here and then just respike them again. Something, or maybe take some places in Iberia. So we'll just do Messina as the war goal for now. Just have to wait to declare the war, though. Let's um, just build a spy network here. Or let's... um. Let's build a spy network in Florence, I guess. <laughs> Alright, yep, pretty big coalition. I have up to 32. Yeah, I'm probably gonna go bankrupt soon. We got the cannons here, I think, now, so let's barrage and then assault. <laughs> Bankruptcy looming. Oh no. <laughs> oh, those loans came up pretty fast. Um, bit of a shame. <laughs> bit of a shame. That's right, this was, um. Ah. I was hoping to complete the um, achievement, but definitely should have practiced a little bit more. I kind of wanted to make more U4 content on the channel, so um, yeah, a bit, a bit unlucky. I, I guess I could have, you know, alt f forward with bad RNG happening and stuff, but um, why can't we? Oh, I need to go over here. Hmm. Yeah, I just didn't really get. Uh, <laughs> they declared the coalition. Alright, All right, so let's see who's in that war. I don't see the war. I thought they declared it. Okay. Hmm. Oh, we lost all our advisors. Uh, oh well. Yeah, I probably should have went a little bit harder into Italy early on, especially with, like, um, early wars and stuff. Um, and definitely should have snaked over here more quickly. All right, next time what I could do is just take, like, this province only, and then take, like, Tunis only, and not have to, like, fully do those wars. But, again, tried to get Syria really quickly, but, you know, fighting the Great Horde early on didn't really help, and, um, Definitely needed to expand more into um, Italy and get like little footholds and stuff. So I'll definitely try this achievement again in the future. But um, yeah, it was um, <laughs> it was a challenge for sure that uh, didn't succeed. But didn't expect to. I definitely need some uh, more hours in the game, more practice. But I think um, overall it was relatively stable to the end there. where We got a lot of mercenaries. Um, but yeah, really unfortunate that Naples uh, went under a personal union with France. I was hoping to uh, establish an Aelit here and then just feed Naples the rest of um, territory, use Naples to, recon uh, Naples to uh, reconquer the Aragonese holdings in um, Sicily. So, yeah, and it was also very unlucky that Venice expanded so much here that we had to truce break them to take all this territory. I mean, ugh. Probably could have declared war on the knights sooner as well. Probably should have just fought Venice also way sooner too, initially. To get all these territories here before all my truces ended and then... Yeah, it's um... It's quite the challenge and it's fun. A lot of people have uh, made some videos on it and stuff and have done it, so... Kudos to them. They, uh, they certainly play well. I don't play as um, chaotic as this most of the time, but... um. Overall, yeah, I'd just say uh, 
some really unfortunate RNG with the Mamblex attacking um, Ak Akun Yulu as well. Um, because you just you should be able to fight Akun Yulu outright, or the, at least you'd hope to. So that way you don't have to waste the truce on the Mamlux. But wasting five years on the Mamlux means it takes five extra years to get this. And five extra years to get this means five, five extra years to take Tunis, which you take these two places, then you can, you know, get easier access into Iberia. So, um, yeah, overall, uh, <laughs> not my uh, greatest performance, but it's RNG dependent game. And uh, didn't get the achievement this time, but hopefully we can do it in the future. So thanks for uh, everyone tuning in. And for those of you who watch this stream later on YouTube, hope you enjoy the EU4 content. It's not the greatest EU4 performance ever. There's um, certainly a lot of players better than me. So um, yeah, definitely um, hoping to stream more EU4 though in the future. Maybe go after some other achievements that uh, don't require such a timetable. But yeah, it was just a little unfortunate with um, this run, sadly. So uh, we'll definitely try to uh, practice some more and hopefully get this down for a future stream for you guys. So thank you all so much for watching and uh, take care. All right, now time to end the stream. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and guys, really appreciate it.